Hey, Marco, you ready for the totally awesome, coolest show ever? Welcome to Renovision. We're not for everybody. We're okay with that. Sun's out, so chest is out, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir, man. The fit is looking good. Ah, the fish are hit biting. Uh, played a little card. This is the only thing I have to say, man. I went over to play at the Mellow Shop. Shout out to uh, Games and Company down there. Right off the lake. It's wonderful. Except for, like, if if you own pets, like, and can you just, like, just check the mirror first, right? Like, if it looks like you're wearing the pet, like, maybe just, like, go outside, take, like, one of those sticky rollers, roll yourself out real quickly. And I'm only asking because, like, I have it allergies. Like you're wearing the pet. If there's so much hair on your clothing, it uh, literally looks like you're wearing the pet. Like if okay. your shirt's black and it's like not black anymore because it's filled with white hair on it, just do us all a favor because like that falls down there and then I touch the table. Next thing I know, I'm blowing snot all out of my eyeballs. So I'd appreciate it. If not, like, cool. I mean, like I said, the renovation, not for everybody. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, I really appreciate it. It was a fun game. Two and two. Occasional beard two hair two. falls out sometimes. No, bro, bro, bro. This lady. No, no, yo, yo. I'm not trying to be smart. No, no, that wasn't close. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. So, uh, oh, we got a special guest, by the way. Hey, Jack. What's going on, yo? <laughs> yeah, welcome <laughs> to our intros. Yes, yeah. we brought Jack <laughs> back. So we were going to bring him back last week, as we said. Uh, a little interference with that because maybe our schedule. We just don't know what our schedule is. And then he's going to go over the blood hunt stuff with us. You guys all really enjoyed the last time he came out here and did that. We're going to go over like some key people, some key storylines. Yeah, we, yeah, we did timeless last time. You guys enjoyed that, so we'll do that. But before we do, before we get into news, I hear there's some really exciting news, groundbreaking news uh, in news. But before we do that, let's say hi to the chat. GT Geek Comics, thumbs up and hello. Tommy Longbox, saying hi for their algorithm. As has been slacking lately, have a good one and catch you on the replay, nerds. Tommy, thank God you got home safe. We appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed the wonderful, uh, the greatest country of all, America. America. I hope you enjoyed America. Uh, <laughs> glad you got to travel through most of it, brother. All right. Glad you're safe. GT Key Comics, hi, 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 thumbs. Now it's the opposite. Nice move, bro. Ed, saying hi for the algorithm and <laughs> chat. All right, Ed, thank you. I went to so I went to European to celebrate 30 years of marriage and of course drink good beer. Oh, you got you and Tommy like flop flip flop. Nice. Flip flop, yep. Yeah. Eric, Eric, we have something for you if Pete did it right. That's all I'm saying. I did. All I right. have it. Whenever we're ready, I have it. AOA. Okay, well, do you have it right now? Yeah, it's in the side. It's overlay. Oh, cool. Hey, uh, speaking of Eric, we're gonna do this. We typically don't break out of saying hi to people, but we think uh this deserves it. Eric got another commission deal for a book for I believe it's a where where is it? Where is it, dude? Pete, where is it? Is it this oh, one? Ah, there it is. So Scarlet number one. He has I didn't that know what you about there. where it is. It's like, what do you mean? What store? I don't yeah. know. No, 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 no. Where's the where's the book at? Okay, there you go. Nice job. He did the coloring on this. So congratulations. Way to get paid to do comics, bro. Nice. Good. Congratulations, Eric. That's awesome. Good job, my man. Thank you, buddy. All right. AOA. AOA says, file GT Key Comics on IG. I'm not going to read off all these. That's GT Key Comics. Then he says, Tommy Longbox. Yeah. Uh, AOA puts in all, all the links to everybody. Ed, there you go. Ed, S tier, S tier, S tier. Ed you says know, something. Then we get a like. Oh, you're okay. finishing that up. I'm going to start opening up my package so I can show off the book. Oh, yeah, that. sure. Yeah. Bri J. Oh, oh for another guy. For another long time. For somebody who is for Renovision. There you go. What up, Marco, Pete, and Dub? Bri J, yeah. what's up? Bri J changed. Bri, look at you doing a little joker, huh? Hello, Jack. Hey, there you go. Uh, thumbs up. Please don't be it. A... Oh, come on, Bri. <laughs> I'm trying my best. No promises, though. Marv, what's up? Hey, Jack. Hey. Okay, good. Congratulations, Eric. Congratulations. Hey, what's up, Cosmic One? Congratulations. He's saying thanks, everybody. He said that. Artrell, uh, what's everyone? What's up to you, too, Artrell? Good to see you. Uh, it is. It's going to be a good evening. I right. I'm reading the note. Car shop too. Okay, read the note. Yes, yeah. Ryan had said I can decide whether I wanted to read the note live or not, but I don't know. I think I'll keep this keep this to myself. I don't want to come off too. Uh, so, so I hang out with him all the time, and he gives me actually squad douche. And uh, you never meet the guy, and he's sending you stuff. I see how this goes. Yeah, I see yeah. who his favorite is. Yeah. Okay, I'll just remember what? that. For, remember for, that next uh, time he needs a favorite. We have. Uh, well, I'll show it after. 
Ryan had said he was wanted to draw me a cover. Hey, I said, do your worst. Don't tell me what it is. Just surprise me. So uh, he did, and he drew me. Uh, here, where's the? Yeah, yeah. Do the so, so big guy. Oh no, wait, this one. There we go. Yeah. Big guy screen. So he drew Ooh. me his first Vader. That's a good Vader. Nice. Holy crap! That's awesome. Good job. Absolutely. Which was I was also reading part of the note that this is the first time he do he drew Vader and look he even puts a little nice little COA that he makes himself <laughs> in the back there too. There it is. Awesome. Ah, I great. like it. Yeah. Nice work. Thank you, that, oh, Ryan. The I'm gonna put it. Sorry, Neil. I'm gonna put put this one up for a minute over top of yours. But uh, is it is it Ryan the Gray or Obi the Gray now? Ryan Which the Gray. Ryan, Ryan Obi the Gray or no? Okay. No, just Ryan the Gray. And yeah. where is it? Make sure AOA you go and link up. But I'm yeah, just gonna put, put this up there. Oh, his IG. You can see he did this cover for yeah, Dom. He did he did this, uh, that's cool. Boba Fett and Bosk for Dom. Yeah, that's he should have done that. this that's one nice. for Jedi. Yeah, yeah, very nice. And then I think there's somebody else. But point is, thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. Go right job. over here on this. I think it's on Vader down. So you just. Taking his family pool shots there too. What are you doing here, bud? I don't know. Right. That's what's on this page. But right. they're there. Peter Dale. Nelson. 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 <laughs> Phil. What's up, Phil? Where is there we go? That's what I'm looking for. All right. We ready to get into new we got Jack here. Let's not wear him out in the two minutes of us opening packages like we're a different show. All right. I know I had one I had to open. You didn't even read the letter. You're like, I'm gonna read the letter, <laughs> but I'm not. I read the letter, but it's gonna no. come kind of uh, I don't know. That's a, it was optional to read the letter, so you know if he wants. That's to a that. really nice. Did he do that in cursive? That's a really nice letter. That's what I'm saying. Well, don't, read don't read it. Don't read it. Yeah. Is it personalized? Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, to me. He's, he's giving thanks. Okay. Well, then what you do is not read that off, and you just okay. Well, you just said you wanted me to read the letter. <laughs> well, you told everybody I'm going to read the letter because he gave me the option, and then go. I'll read it later. Why would you read it later? You either read it now or don't read it at all. All right. All right. Wait, I wish you were content creators. I, I, I really wish you were content people. creators. I just didn't read it out loud, you guys. I'm not yeah. a content creator. I would. I'm not a content creator. Let's go. I don't know get what's us going on news. anymore. All right, let's do some news. Yeah, we're, not, we're just blowing off steam. Can you uh, run that thing for me? Yeah. Right, yeah. Let, me run, let me run the things so we can get the news started. Thank you. Now that's creating some content. Um, yeah. Well, let's got? talk about some news. Here we go. Um, top story. Um, <coughs> I mean, this was what all the people are talking about, right? It was our trailer that we got. Our cinema cons that's going on this week. So we have a bunch of studio news. Um, this has been very divisive. I've read some... Some Marco opinions about this, and I've actually read some people who actually is? like it. Because you've <laughs> well, talked you... about this movie multiple times and how much you don't care. Hey, JJ. I'm sorry, did I say something? You well, you know? well, no, you, I saw a trailer now, so now I can comment oh, on the trailer. I'm sorry. Well, please comment okay. on the trailer. What's this movie about? Yeah, I don't, I'm not wasting my time with this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Anybody? Anybody want to tell me what this is actually going to be about? Well, um, yeah, I saw a trailer too, but. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Uh, is this the Joker? Makeup Are we just watching? Well, what it is because she's Harley like Quinn. Ford having a love story. I don't know what I'm watching. Weird. It's just supposed to be weird, and I'm yeah. here for it. Just like a yeah. weird, off the walls, batshit take on the Joker. Hell yeah. Yeah, but I'm not paying. Fi- Are you paying fifteen dollars to see that, Jack? No. Are you gonna just wait till it gets to Disney <laughs> Max or whatever it is? Like, I'll, Max I'll yeah. wait. Patient. I'll wait for people to tell me. If it's, like, I'm not gonna be there opening day, but I could see like maybe second or third weekend. Yeah, see, I'll watch. I, no, I love a, a train wreck too, but I like to watch train wrecks uh, from my house. So what I'll do is just wait till it hits the plus, and then I'll be like, okay. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be as bad as the first one. Like, but like, I just think the first one wasn't terrible. It just, I it just marked a couple of places for me. Just the second one, I just have no idea what the point of it is. That's all. So that they can introduce Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. Yeah, I mean, the there was nothing about the movie that needed a sequel. Like, it was a very complete story. Yeah, they told, they told a story. There it was. And what are we doing now? Well, what happened was the first one made money. Yeah, they made money. So let's so make now it. they had to make a sequel. <laughs> Look, because everyone was like, "It's an incel rallying cry." I was like, "What? Like, are we watching the same movie? Like, there's so much controversy over nothing in that movie." 
No, I think it was just like if you saw it was really there was a, really two movies the 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 one uh, what's his name Jerry Lewis movie and the King of Comedy the, yeah and King of Comedy and it was like it was no, ninety percent Jerry Lewis movie yeah Jerry that's what it was and it was like ninety percent that movie so if you've seen that movie before you're like everybody's like wow this is groundbreaking and new and you're like well. It's like, no, it's, just go watch De Niro. Not, and it's not, no, De Niro yeah, this, was, this was Taxi Driver with that with a Batman villain. Right. Well, kind of. Yeah, but it, was, yeah, it really was King of Comedy. King yeah. comedy it was it was I was like, this is Taxi Driver, right? Yeah, like, you must not have seen King of Comedy. Because if you saw King of Comedy, you'd be like, shit, this is King of Comedy. Yeah, that's where you get the whole... I've not seen King of Comedy. Yeah. But it's well, it's literally the same thing. The guy's not funny. He thinks he is. Then he puts himself in an imaginary world. I mean, it's literally... Yeah, he's a super fan of The Tonight Show host character. Yeah, it's supposed to be a super fan of Johnny Carson or whatever. And then he just... Yeah. So, like, that whole bit... So, like, yeah, I mean, like, it's okay, but I'm not... Once again, like I watch that yeah. at home. I watch remakes at home. I'm not going to watch a remake of a, yeah, something that classic in in yeah. this. I'm just not sold on whatever this is. Yeah, so I, don't know what I mean, is. this is a guy who what's up, Black Spider is cosplaying as Joker, and he's kind of nuts. And then he finds a woman who gets to cosplay as Harlequin, and they meet each other and they fall in love. Like that's what I think <laughs> this movie is. That's Ed. 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 If oh, you're saying on. that Wonder Woman 84 is the standard, like, like <laughs> at least I didn't get pooped on when I walked outside today. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Well, here, here's the other thing I have for you, whether it be the first movie and or this movie. If they didn't tell you oh, that this was the Joker yeah. and they just showed you this movie and didn't say it was Gotham, would you know? This yeah, because it said Gotham like eight, they the literally had to put. They literally had to put Gotham in there 50 times. They literally had to say Harley Quinn in print. They literally had to say uh, Arkham in big bold. Like they had to put all those things in so you could be like, oh, wait, maybe there, this is. There what? was one thing the movie did, which I thought I at least I had never seen with Batman before, which was like, what if Thomas Wayne was actually a dick? Like, <laughs> you know, like, right. I was like, I haven't it's seen Thomas that. He's like, he's like a philanthropist and a great guy. It's like, no, he's an asshole, too. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's I fair. haven't seen that in a Batman in Batman stuff before. I can't. I haven't read a huge amount of Batman, but still, it's yeah, that. Fair. But see, this is the take. Like, oh, it's for adults. No, it's it was a copy off of, like that's Other movies. Like Kazik, I'm not trying to crap on you, but like you're act like that's a point of view of like, oh, they did something original. They didn't though. They didn't do something original. They took a already finished product, just like they do in toys. And then they just gave it a new sculpt head and or a new packaging, and yeah, that's what you got. got. They didn't, yeah, they didn't do anything new, and, and it's fine that they didn't. It's I'm not saying it's not, fun, but like, let's just not act like you know it's the golden goose shitting eggs here or dang it, pooping eggs here. You know it's <laughs> it's uh you know it it's it's okay. Like yeah, um, I will tell you that I am most likely going to see this movie in theaters, probably not opening weekend, but I will see it in theaters. It's I just can't stop paying fifteen. That my wife wants to see, so yeah. we're gonna go see this movie. So I will tell you. Yeah. I'll let you know what happens. When Plus, I'm not it. huge on musicals, also. So, like, yeah, I'm yeah, not. I'm not a musical. yeah, I musicals, so I'm very interested to see what this, what the hell this is. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, whole yeah. Yes, it they're is. doing like uh, they're gonna do cover songs. Like that part's kind of turning me off. They're gonna just kind of force feed us some. A See that, that that's why also I want to do it at home because that's fine because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on you know I'm I'm not a content creator but I'm going to start working on trying to be a content creator and I'm going to like do that while I'm listening to the music so I'll enjoy the movie at home I'm just saying like fair enough yeah 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 watch some um, all, right. all right let's move what on I don't want to talk about, about this. yeah all right we've come off as like a DC hate that's not the point yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> movie. no it's not excited for the sequel that's all. All right, we're going to talk about the box office, and there's the, the one movie that's number one this last weekend, same one that was number one last weekend. Yes, sir. Godzilla vs. Kong. Why are people <laughs> upset about the mechanical hand, the power glove? I don't get it. Because they already did, Thanos already did it, so why does King Kong get to wear it? Because he's well, it's, King Kong. I don't know why. I mean, if, if you're really good, that's where you're going to draw the line, like, I don't know. I'm fine with these giant monsters and kaiju's a hollow earth where there's, <laughs> there's creatures and things living down there. But nope, it's a bridge too far when you give me a giant mechanical arm for a power glove. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, it comes out that comes out of just real quick into the story. Like, wait, is it ready? It's ready, all right. Let me go fly my plane and go drop it off real quick. 
I get that, but it's at, you know, it's like it's like one of those things we've kind of been talking. There is a very l- vocal negative group that's very tiny, and I think that's part of like they just have to shit on everything, Sh- poop on everything. Sorry, they have to poop on everything, and like it sounds like they're just doing it because it's like people are they they probably didn't realize that this movie was going to do well, even though Dub and me have been like pounding the drum on it for a long time now. And got Godzilla in it, yeah, bro. Yeah. And now they're like, they don't get it because they've been poo pooing Godzilla and they've been poo pooing King Kong. And then all of a sudden, oh, wait, we've done what 60 or 70 in the last two weeks? Uh, actually, uh, this movie is uh 132 million domestically, so was that three weeks maybe? and 361 yeah. globally? Two. Yeah, could yeah. be, yeah, it's expected to be one of the highest grossing films of the year. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Good for it. Right there with Dune 2. Yep. Dune yeah, 2. Exactly. Is, I mean, number one will be Deadpool. Like, that yeah, of course, of course. Of course. That's going to be the. Well, maybe not because it's R rated, but even then, it can still make a lot. No, it will be. Yeah, Jack, have you gone to play? If they're paying $15, they're taking their kids with them, bro. They will. There will be a baby and at least a three year old in any Deadpool screening you see. <laughs> I, I guarantee Deadpool. you. No matter what stage you're <laughs> Baby pool is going to be in there. So, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what yeah, Maybe it's for babies. Well, it's you know it's from a comic book character, so it's for all ages. Uh, yeah, it's no man of web. Yes, no, yeah, <laughs> no man of web. Uh, we were talking um, about the CVSI chat. Only Sony could take Sydney Sweeney, Dakota Johnson, put them in skin tight outfits, and still make a movie I don't want to see. Screw it up. <laughs> hey, listen, I told everybody uh, Morbius wasn't as bad as everybody said, and uh, the people were like, no, no, that's not true. And Sony goes, yeah, hold my drink. We're gonna give you Madam Web, and it's like, see, now that's <laughs> a true piece of shit. Tell us. There you go. So there you go. I mean, you yeah. Still don't believe us? Just wait. We got Craven coming. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not saying. You. Hey, I was never saying Morbius was like the greatest thing since sliced bread. I said, yeah, for like to watch it for free, it's like not like I don't care. But yeah, no, Madam Web. Uh, come on, man. They, they want to lose. They want to lose whatever rights they have to the characters at this point. So. No, they're doing that so they don't lose the rights, right? That's why they keep making. No, the I think there, so isn't there the isn't there no, but isn't there a guaranteed payout clause? I think after the Fantastic Four thing, there is a clause that if it if you don't make enough at uh, if you don't make enough because uh, Marvel has got a share point in some of these with the Spider deal they did, and if you don't make enough at the box office. There is a reversion where Marvel has the rights to buy back. Oh, I hope that happens. I mean, Same. it's got it. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. so. Yeah. Um. So, Monkey Man uh, debuted this week as well. Hey, we just uh, showed your book. Thanks, Ryan. Oh yeah, that was awesome cover. Oh, awesome sorry, Darth Vader, Ryan. Ryan. Good job. I did show the book. Thank you. Um. So, Monkey Man was supposed to come out on Netflix. Then Jordan Peele saw it, oh, and then Universal Jack. decided. He decided uh, that he, they're going to put out in theaters, and it already made ten million at the theaters. I, I think it had a pretty low budget. What happened to matinees? I don't know. Who? Like during the week, like I was trying, to, I was going to go see Monkey Man because I'm on, I'm on sabbatical. I'm on break. Oh. I got some free time. I was going to go see Monkey Man, but the first show started yeah. like three or four o'clock, and I'm like, I'm going to miss dinner. Like I can't do that, bro. You, you want to know what? Like that's what we try to do with that Kung Fu Panda. And it was like there. You remember they used to matinee pricing? And yeah, everything. like I want no. like a good one o'clock show. That's like one hundred percent off. Nope. That's what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went and saw it at one o'clock, I think, and it was fifteen dollars a ticket. Dang, twelve dollars for kids. Um, yeah, I don't know about the matinee thing, but uh, I will tell you that this uh, the first Omen as well was supposed to be originally streamed on Hulu. And then that one they decided to put out in theaters since it's a horror movie and horror movies do well in a theatrical release. So they might as well make some money on it. And it came in number four in its debut. So that's not so bad. Well, before we move so, on to the next slide, yeah. I'm looking at the toy because my son did get that Godzilla. My dad, yeah. my son stayed with his grandparents you know, over the holiday. And of course, he got spoiled twice. Spoiled by my parents, spoiled by my wife's dad. But he did get the new Godzilla. And I'll tell you, I feel bad for him. His Godzilla's not as cool as the Godzilla I had when I was a kid. <laughs> Head's all tiny looking. Yeah, this this version of Godzilla definitely looks different than, I mean, the minus one Godzilla is much cooler looking than this one. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it, it's it's still Godzilla. So, as long as kids are getting Godzilla toys, I'm yeah, okay. I mean, he's happy. He's, he's happy yeah. to have it. He turned all his Ninjago dragons into other kaiju. Other kaijus. Nice. <laughs> like, oh, this is this one from that. This is that one. I'm like, all right, awesome. bud, whatever. Sure. 
Sorry, right. JJ. I, sh- I can Go clarify. Ahead. They they have the right to terminate the lease, but they have a buyout option for the lease that they have to terminate. It's like any contract. Like if you hire a manager or something to that effect, and then you have to pay them a mounted out. So because they have an t- institute <laughs> situation. Okay, boy. Um. Cool. All right. Let's move on. Let's uh, let's talk about some CinemaCon things that happen. CinemaCon is the annual uh, thing for Ooh. movie. I'll leave the movie thing going then. Oh, I movie thought that was going to be Scarlet. Yeah. I thought that was going to be Scarlet. Yeah, no, no. This is actually from the video game Borderlands. Borderlands. Uh, it's a movie uh, coming out. We don't know actually when it's coming out, but it's got like a um, cast. It's like a team-ish movie. Kate Blanchett is playing the main character, Lilith. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Yeah. They're making Guardians of the Galaxies of a video game franchise. Right, exactly. It definitely Easy. has a Guardians of the Galaxy uh, feel to it. Um, the footage was shown today, but we haven't seen it yet. Um, I, I looked for it, but it's not out yet, and I didn't go to any anywhere that I didn't want to go. The trailer was good. For it. Um, yeah. So I want to see more of this. Hopefully it's... Uh, uh, I mean, the couple of screenshots that I saw look pretty decent, so... I'll probably see this. I mean, Borderlands is a pretty decent sized franchise that keep making new games. Yeah, for. The, the game is fun. I'm like, I really fun. like the game, but I, like it's one of those things where I I just have to disassociate the cinematic thing from the game, right? Because it's not. Yeah, because I didn't see Kevin Hart as a badass when I was <laughs> playing the game. But okay, oh, yeah. and I yeah. like Kevin Hart for just uh, being Kevin Hart. But we'll see. Uh, yeah. So uh, I mean, I don't, uh, yeah, there's been a you know video game stuff's been coming out like this is Borderlands uh, Fallout is on um, wow, Amazon. It actually came out yep. today. Oh, they it dropped did? it early. Yeah, it's out right now. So as far oh. I read, it was supposed to be out early. So I think it's out right hey, now. Joe, I agree. Ready? I agree. I agree, Joe. Um, but this looks interesting. I'll check it out. Um, moving on with uh, more um, CinemaCon news. Henry Cavill was there. And he uh, stood up in front of everybody and talked about Highlander. Um, he loves the original movies. He's like a super fan of the original movies. He read the script uh, and loved it. Uh, but he really wants to deep dive into the lore of Highlander. And so you're going to, if you think you've seen him with swords before, you haven't seen anything yet. So for all you Henry Cavill fan out there, um, this will <laughs> definitely, uh, it's, it's right there for you. I like Henry Cavill. I liked Witcher. What's wrong with this? No, I liked Witcher. <laughs> I, yeah, I not such a. I'm gonna go see like the Ungentlemanly Warfare. Yeah, he, I, he's <laughs> there. Could be only one. Exactly. We'll review whenever it later, see, Black Spider. Whenever but, I see, I really want to dive into the lore. I'm like, oh god, it's gonna be another tell and not show movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. Well, as long as they don't get into the space aspects of Islander Two and Three and. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. What he, I mean, he's a huge nerd, so he could be only one. He could make this uh, pretty good. He's not a nerd. Let's be real. Oh, he's he's not? a huge nerd. Are you kidding? Yeah, he like plays nerd. Warhammer and stuff. I don't know, man. Well, maybe we're giving him too much credit. He might like that he's stuff. Just a nerd but... who's yoked. Like that's. Yeah. Like, he's just a really good-looking nerd. He had options. Just, uh, what to do yeah. with his free time? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right. So we're gonna get a Superman, the Christopher <laughs> Reeve story. Uh it's gonna be out in September. Uh Peter Saffron uh showed a trailer with uh Christopher Reeve's son and talking about the accident that left him paralyzed. Um, and then his connection to Robin Williams, and then how he prepped for the Superman role in the original Man of Steel uh 1978 movie. So we're going to get a little history of biopic, I guess. And it's going to be in theaters. Um, so that's coming in September, but they did not give us an official date. Is there anybody still alive that, like, cares? <laughs> yeah. I still like my Superman. My original yeah, but Superman. I, no, I mean, like, really, though. I mean, really, though. I have my problems with some of the Like, this seems like the there. demographics, like, like... You got to either be at what's that place in Florida, the village, or maybe even like in the retirement home to really dig into this this biopic at this point. Well, you know, so a lot like it's early. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's really old. Like, I mean, I don't. I don't they know. did the one with the original Super. Remember when Ben Affleck was the original Superman guy? Why not do? We get this one. 
<laughs> I don't hate dead. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate dead people, but like, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, that's so you know, like, dude, I want to yeah, besmirch I mean, the man. Nah, I'm not trying to say that. I'm just trying to say, like, uh, you don't have you to watch it. Time's kind yeah. of elapsed a little far on this one, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of so a- you're saying if anybody's no longer with us, they can't. Not make true, a movie not true. About not, I love Dark that, Side, I like Dark Side of the Ring. I, I uh, not true. Not so, true. you know, they made like you know, movies about uh Bob Marley or like you know, not absolutely Kurt not Cobain true. or any, anybody yeah, who passed know, like, away. Still, we can't hold, hear movies. Now, hold on now, you still hear like at least once a week if, if you're going to buy a coffee shop, you're gonna hear a Nirvana song. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna hear Bob Marley too. Uh, you're not really going to see Man of Steel. The movie was almost 50 years ago. <laughs> exactly my point. You're proving but, the point. But like, but that's also the point that it's far enough along that we can now look back. No, I think like there's like, I think there's, what I'm saying is like, there's like six generations that I don't even think know that who, I don't think, I don't think they even know who he is, is what I'm saying. No, I get what you're saying, but the same thing is like who Ben Affleck was playing that original Superman. I don't remember much. Of, I can't remember his name right now. Wasn't another Reeves, George Reeves, unrelated, unrelated, yeah, yeah, unrelated. Yeah, the original Superman, with George Reeves. I didn't know a lot right, about. Let's George do a Reeves Ben Franklin movie. My time, but they made a movie about it. I didn't uh, see uh, it because I didn't care, and that's fine. Some I mean, dragons have been been on. On yeah. Earth since like the caveman days, but we used to watch dragon shows. Oh my god, I had explained that the dark ages were not dragons. <laughs> right. were fucking, oh my god, how do we know there's not dragons there? Jesus, all right, let's move along. <laughs> I don't hate old people either, real old people. <laughs> real, I'm old just saying, people. Yeah. what do you got? What do you got? <laughs> What's the newest one now? They don't know about it. You got the zoomers, they don't know about it, Jen. Uh, uh. What's the other one? Why or whatever it is the millennials probably don't know about. It. So that's what four already. So oh, I'm sorry. I said six. Sorry. Four to five generations. I probably don't know. Who this is. God forgive me. Really got out of oh, hand God. there. Yeah. That's a stretch, bro. Go ahead, Jack. By YouTube rights, he now gets to host the show instead of you. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, he's on my Sunday show. He's a buddy of mine. But like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, five, six. That, what's, what's the difference here, bro? I, I yeah. Uh, what do you mean, one? AJ? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just named, there's Zoomers. Zoomers is. is Who are Zoomers? Like, what's the Zoomer? I don't know. They call somebody Zoomers now. I don't know, bro. Boomers. No, no, not boomers. It's Zoomers, kids that were born during the Zoomer like generation. The Zoomers, or like, yeah. It's- Zoomers are yeah. kids who like grew up with iPads, basically. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. Zoomers? Yeah. Th- See, what? Jack needs to be on this board. Yes, Jack's I'm educated. Old, I can't help that I'm the most educated person in this channel just because I don't create contact. You bring Jack here. He backs it up. Very educated young man right there. Thank <laughs> so you, you, sir. You mean like Gen Z? Is that a Zoomer? I don't. I, yeah, I think that's yeah, the same. That is a, oh, yeah, it's the same thing. I, don't I, don't know. Know. I think they're all just different ways for us to generalize about people. Generalize yeah, bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Group people together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Exactly. That's what yeah, yeah. It's much of yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's. They call them Zoomers now. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Yeah. All right, who gives a shit about this? There's now? a new Blair Witch movie coming. It's a reimagining. Are they going to do the whole movie on their phones? Is that what we're going to get? Probably. This does this not this is kind of what I'm talking about the Joker movie though like I didn't okay in the defense of this movie uh my buddies bought the tickets and we sat in the second row so you had to look at this with a shaky camera oh that's time. awful so I probably shouldn't comment on this movie yeah yeah, yeah this I, I don't know it was yep in 1999 when this movie came out it earned 248 million dollars on its first run. I mean, that's the reason why. I just don't get why we can't have a new great horror movie. Why does it have to be a new Blair Witch movie? You know what I mean? Yeah. And the answer is because it made $248 million, but like, Agreed. still, like, yeah, just give us something new. We don't, not everyone know. needs more of the past. I don't know why it's happening, but it's happening. So they're working on it. Lionsgate and Bloomhouse. So it's probably actually going to happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to imagine what what horror remakes have really actually really done well. Like when they tried to redo Nightmare on Elm Street, and they had uh, Jackie Earl Haley, and I was like, "All right, that didn't really take off, did it?" 
Rob Zombie took his hand at Halloween and then decided, you know what? We're just going to go back to the original Halloween set. We're just going to direct. No, didn't Zombie do that, that one movie? He did the movie that he the did two like Halloweens, but it's still not Halloween. I'm not saying Halloween. He did that. What was the thing called? Like the oh, the, the House of a Thousand people. Corpses. Yeah, people like that. Well, that yeah. was original. That was yeah, yeah. his thing. I'm yeah, saying yeah. remakes like Texas Chainsaw Massacre when they hey, let's redo it. What I mean, just do I mean, it. Yeah, 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 I like. I, hey, I'll, I'll be honest. I like the Evil Dead shit, but like that's kind of like it's supposed to be corny. Like the same thing I like with the show. Uh, the Walking, the the Living Dead, like all the Living Dead stuff, like, you know what I mean? Like that's all supposed to be like. I mean, the, well, actually, the Mummy, the Mummy did way better than the original. Yeah. All right. Fair. Well, I don't, the Brendan Fraser Mummy in horror. The original, ones. the original one's definitely a horror movie. The, the yeah, Brendan the original the new one they made, Indiana Jones. Yeah, I'm saying, like yeah. the original was a horror, but yeah. Oh, so they're yeah. gonna reimagine the. Oh, I'm sorry, I might have not paying attention. They're gonna reimagine the Blair Witch Project, but not as a horror. No, no. Oh, we don't know what it's gonna be. Oh, okay, but it's Lionsgate and Bloomhouse, so it's probably gonna be a horror. Okay, they see, do that's horror movies yeah. generally. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because I mean, how do you make that? Like the Mummy was horror, then didn't Black Spiders. Nothing's better than the original thing. <laughs> um. All right. Let's let's talk about some streaming stuff. Yeah, these guys like to the, the make fun of me for liking uh, Henry Cavill. Don't get me on Kurt Russell. Old school Kurt Russell. That was a man. Kurt Russell, dude. Um, let's talk about uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> We've got our actors yeah. for uh, Dunk and Egg. Bro, you can't dress. You cannot dress Egg like that. Well, he's uh, not going to be dressed like that. I mean, no, it's a promo pick, though. No, that's no, his picture. Not. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, a, that's what I'm saying, like a headshot. Not in yeah. costume, yeah. No, I'm saying as a headshot, you can't roll out douche big douchebag and go like, "Hey, this is the kid that's gonna play egg." It's a very important character. At least do some, at least like unpop well, the collar. He's coming from a douche big douchebag family. It makes sense. Yeah, but this is modern douchey McDouchebag, not I get not it. Dragons. It helps him. You can go. What era? Him. What era were the dragons supposed to be again? In the, the caveman times. No, it wasn't. It was not caveman times. It was Renaissance times. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be the, Re- the Renaissance. The Renaissance. I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you say the Renaissance? Renaissance? Yeah, yeah, Renaissance. That makes sense. Yeah. Renaissance. I don't. I'm not from. Eng- I gotta ask somebody from England. They'll tell you when dragons were flying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's pre-America. Right. Um. Anyway, so this is uh, Peter Claffy. Uh, he will be uh, Dunk, and then uh, Dexter Soul Ansel will be starring as Egg. So we got this news just recently. I don't know I'll anything go. about these two. I'll give it a shot. Uh, dude, I looked up dude six four. That's, That's taller. So I know it's if not he's six feet, four. But... He's dunk. Uh, he looks dunkish. Yes, yeah, so I, I mean, can see how he's he big dunkish. enough. At six four. He'll be big enough for TV. Like that's well, amazing. also too. Like I'm glad that kid's got a bunch of lot, the lovely, lovely like McDouchebag locks because those are all being cut off. Just let him know that real quick. <laughs> What? The kid's like, like, like a kid with like a nice round ten head. years old. Like what? What? Why? Why are we attacking a child? No, he I'm is. just saying in general. I'm not attacking. I'm saying in general. You called him a douche like three times already now. I said, no, he called it Mick douche. <laughs> that doesn't make it better. That's yes, it <laughs> wow. Go ahead, All Jack. Right. What were you going to say, Jack? Hold on. Jack had a comment. Until he started choking <laughs> on his good, water. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you, you don't want to get into just piling on this poor kid. Dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, nope. Yeah. All right. In other, in other Game way, of Thrones normal. news. Um. Yeah, so the it John be the Snow spinoff has been scrapped. Thank God. Um, Kit Harrington yeah. said this, this spinoff show is off the table. It's been shelved. Good, good. He he's the one who actually brought it to HBO, and he admitted he and his team could not find the right story to tell. So the project is no longer in active development. So yeah, just dude, there was nothing so left for this for the you know fans of this guy who were looking forward to this movie. Or the show, it's not it's not happening. Yeah. I don't know if you have the follow up when he also mentioned Black Knight, but that was all that that bit's disappointing. I did not. Uh, I, I read <laughs> yeah, that a little bit about that, but he yeah. said nothing moving forward with the Black Knight at this time either. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I like maybe Black Knight. I kind of wanted something. That's all. He's spending too much time not being the Black Knight, <laughs> right? Yeah, I think I think because they screwed it up. If they would have just left it. In the books, there was so many options to be the heir, right? Like, there was the... the yeah, oh, yeah. 
There's like another Aegon Targaryen. There is like, another Aegon Targaryen. Yeah. Um, there's the well, there's the blacksmith kid who they introduced in here, and then we never saw him again. Who they yeah. put on a boat? They're, you know, oh, they're on Greyjoy. Robert. Yeah. yeah, you're on Greyjoy. Yeah, on the and he's with uh, Stal. I mean, there were so many different characters. If they would have gone been wiped out yet, there's still the whole Dornish subplot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was so. Well, there's still so, got what two books to go. There's well, no way. To be one, we're, but now it's like we're, never getting, we're never getting another book. We're I mean, the best. Getting. I always said the the best option that we could have is that he, unfortunately, if now they're gonna get me for old people oh, and dead no, people. Don't I know where you're gonna go? Just don't bother. Just leave. If it. Martin dies, and then the Swedes write the rest of the shit. Let the Swedes do it. The Swedes do a great job. Like what they Swedes? really do, huh? What Swedes? The Swedes are the ones who put together like the uh, Game of Thrones encyclopedias. Uh, they're the ones that helped write the last, like keep the last book in order. They're the, they're the couples, the couple that he ever, like he'll, he openly hasn't, well, he doesn't do it anymore, but he openly admitted for a long time that he like couldn't even keep the family trees together. Or he didn't know like what the hair of the people looked like or who was related to who. So the Swede, the Swedish couple was like, he was saying they're just helping him identify like who had what eye color, but they were really like, Hey, you can't do that in the storyline because then it contradicts something you did. They're kind of like the canon people. Like they hold yeah, down all the canon. He brought people. in his own uh Yeah. They got a little bit they got a little bit of uh, what, uh Yeah, pretty much. Call. Yeah. So they helped write they actually wrote the encyclopedia. He got paid off of it and then they got a lot of popularity and when he got behind his last book like people were I like why you don't you just the Swedes in general no 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 it's a Swedish couple no 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 it's a Swedish couple so the, the girl um, with the yeah. dragon tattoo was a great series no 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 huh. wait that was Norwegian or was it I oh my god know. go next next okay <laughs> this, this is, is uh Clark stuff. Greg no. uh he played Agent Coulson in uh the MCU and then in a show called Agents of Shield following that and he says Coulson isn't dead in every timeline. So he asked about he was asked about his MCU future, and he said it's a multiverse stuff, and you never know what's going to happen. And he loves that Kevin Feige is in charge. So I know he said he knew a lot of people were upset that they kind of took the show in a different direction and kind of separated it from the MCU. It was more like a timeline split thing, um, so that that's how they could tie it in. Uh, but Inhumans ruined it. That's all. We'll yeah, just, all that inhuman, inhuman stuff inhuman went crazy. Ruined it. I still watched it all, but I, I mean, I liked it, but I, I knew it wasn't part of yeah. what was going on in the movies and such. Why is he rocking yeah. an early two thousand Bluetooth uh, telemarketing? Because that's when this picture is from. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's from two thousand eight. The Avengers. <laughs> yeah, this is from yeah. the Avengers. I, I took see. a. I, I brought in a picture that would you would easily recognize. Smoking Aces so is watch. awesome. Is very awesome. Yep, Smoking Aces is awesome. Yeah. Um. And then uh, this guy, we always talk Sounds about sad. this guy, one of the guys we talk about. Uh, this yeah, is uh, douchebag. Bob Iger, and he had a threat to his chairmanship of the board of Disney, Stop but he definitely did not lose. He's still the chairman. You know who the guy who was a threat was? Is the guy who killed Toy Biz, too. So, like, it's kind of good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the guy yeah. who pretty much killed off Toy Biz. So, like, yep. it's kind of good Pearl. that he didn't get him. Huh? Yeah. Pearl Mother. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So, um, we're, yeah, this is um, whether or not you like this guy or don't like this guy, it's he's the lesser of two evils if you like anything Disney at all. So, Marvel, it would have been a whole different thing if that guy would have gotten on the board. So, well, one of the guys who's trying to do a takeover. One of the guys who was trying to do the takeover was one of the guys that had done stuff that people criticized. Uh, I'm not going to say her name, other people for. And Iger fired him and he took all the stock that was part of his buyout program and put it onto the. Uh, yeah. So, like, uh, maybe, maybe this is an okay thing, right? Maybe okay. We'll see. Yeah. Well, yeah. um, right, it doesn't matter. Stock's doing fine. You don't have so, to like yeah. the guy in charge. Yeah. I don't like the guy in charge either, by the way. I'm just saying, you know. Sometimes the lesser of two weeks. Just let him do his job. That's all. Yeah. Let's talk about some toys. Um, so there's going to be a Kickstarter. I believe it's on Kickstarter. A crowdfunded thing for a statue from the cover of Batman Spawn or Spawn Batman comic. 
So Sorry? it's about 20 inches tall uh, and it's resin and it's going to be a collector's club drawing board crowdfunding. It launches tomorrow at noon. Um, I will <laughs> definitely follow up and let you know how quickly and I know this will be funded. I have a good feeling this will be funded relatively quickly because of all the by the state of Arizona. Spawn slappies out there. Yeah. yeah by the state oh, of Arizona. <laughs> yeah. We'll McFarland and Arizona. McFarland, Arizona. It's fun. Don't worry about Whatever. it. Whatever. You guys enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> enjoy your, your huge statue. The, Did you add that? Did that you add Rad, Raddit or whatever this week? Did you add Raddit or whatever to review this week? Rat face or whatever it is? Rat oh, Rat City's in there. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what happens with this, but uh, there was no uh, listing of price or anything. They're probably waiting until tomorrow and to give us any more details, which is when it goes up. It ain't gonna um, be cheap. More McFarland news. Here's a uh, vampire uh, Nightwing gold label. Okay. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Here's open now. Twenty two ninety nine. Always wanted. <laughs> there you go. Holly <laughs> special nine ninety nine in a week. <laughs> Um, well, that's all the toys we have for you this week. Good, thank God those were horrible. <laughs> you know what they should no. do, like the toy companies. What they should do is they sell you the figure, right? They should just sell extra heads like later for like a discount. Yeah. You have to buy the like whole figure. Five... Like, hey, buy the vampire head, and then, there you go. Five and bucks, so... you get the vampire head. Hey, go back to selling soft goods inside packs, like with GI Joe. You have like remember the big figures you, you oh with the all battle the, like, packs, the or... uniform, yeah, battle and, yeah. packs and stuff. You could sell. Seven ten dollars. I pay ten dollars for. I wouldn't, but I would. You're going old school GI Joe, like oh OG yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like yeah. They did it with. Shows, yeah. I was gonna say Barbie, but I don't know how many people know that. But like they would, yeah. with GI Joe, like the one that I have up there. This guy, there's a lot of battle pack stuff that they would sell. With oh yeah, so, you change them into yeah. flight crew. <laughs> yeah, it's um, like, but they did it with like episode one figures and stuff too. Like that, you got the battle pack with extra lightsabers and. Things like that for the three and three quarter inch figures. Yeah. So I mean, you can do it. Like sell it for the price. And, uh, yeah, exactly. And anyways. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, comics. Guess what we're getting? We're getting a Phoenix comic. Jean Grey as Phoenix. From the Ashes, a new beginning. So you can't troll me on this because. I think Cyclops and Jean Grey are the most dog shit characters there could be out there. So I know you're trying to dog. Yeah, I know you're trying to like, hey, uh, Marco, you you're know, making this. Those... There, this is an it's announcement. I yeah, understand, is, but I know why you put it here. I know why you put it here. You. Yeah, I'm not. No, nobody's excited about this. Where would I put it? Where would I put it? Because I don't know, but I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to go, hey, Marco, isn't this a great idea? And you know that I don't think this is a great idea already. I get it. So I'm busting your like whatever balls of mine you were trying to bust. I'm rebusting your balls. No, I would like I you to know that Here when I search for news articles, Here it goes. Yeah. I you the news does not revolve around you, okay? <laughs> Otherwise, he would have put the cosmic ballet. There would have been a lot more things in here if I was the news was going to revolve around you. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to report what's happening. This is a new book coming out in July. Yeah. For anyone who wants to buy it, because the X Men are starting over. So you don't put any of the dog shit TMNT books that keep starting stuff over. You don't do any. I've talked like, about. I've talked about TMNT already. No, you haven't. Not today. Yeah. Not today. Not last week, not last week yeah. or last month. This was just announced. It better be there next week. If it no, gets announced this week, I'll put it out, yeah, out next week. This you know what else was announced? I like Nova though? too. I like. Don't no, don't you dare! I like Nova. <laughs> X Force. Yep, is coming. That's right. I don't mind this so much. X Force yeah. number one. That's okay. Yeah, you're gonna have Forge, the Omega level mutant, leading this team. Wait, Forge yeah. is an Omega level? Forge oh, has been know. on Forge has been on X Force many a times. What, what's the problem here? I'm just letting you know what's going on. I guess they can make anything, so I this guess that the news. Omega yeah, well, no. Omega level building powers. Hold on. Hold on. This is what you do. You he's gonna be like he normally does, he's gonna direct them because X Force is always better when they have somebody over sanctioning. He's a real life Minecraft character. <laughs> you can make anything, <sighs> anything you want. Listen, they got Rachel Summers in there. You like it? They got Rachel, Psylocke. Betsy, Sage, Surge, and Tank. So you got good characters. Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank. Uh, tank. tank. You oh, got good characters. And Forge is a good character. Yeah, Forge is a good character. And you got Summers, and you got 
Uh, you got Summers and Psylog. I mean, how can you go wrong with those two teaming up? I'm good. Um, they're gonna have guest stars like in this first issue. Deadpool will be a guest star. A guest star. I thought he was that leaving. He was part of X Force. That makes sense. Yeah, he'll be there for the first issue. And okay. it'll be time for when the movie's out. Oh, yeah. I don't mess around. Yeah. That's that's why he's in number one. July thirty first. Yeah. They know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, something else that was announced this week. I mean, I can't defend Forge Big Omega level, but it's all right. Skybound Image Hasbro are announcing and have announced a G.I. Joe Real American Hero Compendium. It's going to cover basically the first 50 issues uh, of this, and I think it's uh, a Real American Hero 1 through 50, so I'm guessing it's the Marvel stuff. The Marvel ones? Hmm. Yeah. How are they going to do that with the Marvel stuff? I don't know. I don't know, but they're doing it. Hmm. I think it's the Marvel stuff. I wasn't able to actually see, but it said Larry Hama, but he's done a lot. So and Larry Hama and Herb Trimpey. So I figured that was all the uh, Marvel stuff. So they're going to just, I don't think they're reprinting stuff. I don't know what they're doing. It said one through 50, so it's got to be the issues. So, yeah, but this isn't like the stuff that, the, this, is this the, yeah, the cover to the book is not the Marvel stuff. No, it's a new cover, but I think it is the Marvel stuff inside. That's what I'm also calling it a compendium, not a not an omnibus or anything. Yeah, anything like that. Exactly. Um, Who knows? In other news, we've got a new book coming from Boom Studios with Jeff Lemire writing and drawing. He wants to do an ongoing series um, and something like his Sweet Tooth stuff. He's been said he's been doing a lot of mini series, and he really wants to do something that's ongoing um, every month or on a regular basis. Uh, we don't have a title for it. We don't know what it's about. But there was this picture that he sent out in his Substack. I guess that's what his newsletter comes from. I, I went to his site, and it was a Substack site. So, and he had this picture posted. Oh, so it looks like Illuminati kind of thing. So. <sighs> All right, um, sure. all right, and then uh, the resurgence of Valiant Universe that's going on. Oh, we've all been asking for this, yeah. Alien Books, uh, who is a new publisher of Valiant or has that um deal yeah, to print Valiant not, Books like $12 one shots? It's like, who, who's gonna get buy in on this for 12 bucks? I don't know. They have a whole bunch of like you know, people like Becky Cloonan's doing Exo Man War, and there's um, all these Eternal Warriors that you heard and uh, Archer and Armstrong. Well, these are well, and... regular books because I'm all I'm saying is the last few things they've released have been like ten to twelve dollar like one shots for Britannia and uh, what was it Livewire? Like, oh, that's a big. Oh yeah, yeah. Very right. like casual. Hey, I'm gonna go pick this up. Twelve dollars. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, here's the thing. It, it, the only thing that made it work the last time was you had a certain somebody behind it pumping the shit out of it and then saying and by the way i have a production studio and we're gonna produce a uh, movies and then he produced one movie and sold the company so like good for him but oh, we like, did get it, one huh yeah we did get Bloodshot. one you got one you got Bloodshot. Yeah. Vin Diesel, yeah um so there's a checklist if you want to go a book already came out in february called the very <laughs> valentine's special um, mm -hmm. and then it goes all the way through September for all of this research and stuff. So yeah, see, there's the Britannia and the Livewire book I did, the April stuff. Yeah. But they're expensive. Those are twelve bucks. Oh wow. Yeah. So I don't they're, know they're what or, I don't remember. They're they're not four. They're five. They're like ten bucks or more. No, thank you. Yes. Um, no, and then uh so Pete's favorite uh segment that we do. Oh, we got something is the newest oh. the new printing. It's not my favorite. <laughs> this is your favorite. <laughs> Would you eat that? <laughs> oh, I, I, did, I didn't have time to get I have a few things, but not enough to get it together. Done it good. Would you eat that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'll get that. I'll do my best to have it done next week. Um, Feral number one is getting a second printing because they were sold out so quickly at the distributor level. Oh. Um, Edge of Spider Verse number two is getting a second printing with a Todd Knock cover. Oh, yeah. And a one in 25 variant. By uh, Carrie Andrews, both out on May eighth, and that's just the cover that you could open order. It's just version, version, yeah, of version, it. version of it. the Carrie, the Andrews cover, the Carrie Andrews, yep, gotcha. So it's a virgin version. Oh, that's the one on the way right. That's what that is on the right, huh? Yeah, 
Yep. Because well, they got a trade dress version of that. It actually one. looks kind of cool, cool as a version. Cool. I mean, look, it looks cool as a version. Like, I'm not going to. I poo poo reprints, but like, that looks cool as shit. So. Yeah. But do you want to spend 60 bucks on that? On that? No. Oh, it's, one it's one a one in 25. That's what people yeah. do. That's like the. That's the. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. The I get it. I get it. I get you want to buy a second print one in 25? Because you got to buy 25 cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. 64 right. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, hey, good for the good for Tony and Trish again. And I think like they should just short stuff because they're second. This see, they do it right. They give you a second print where it's a different horror cover. So like, yep. it gives an yeah, incentive to buy them out. Intrigued. Yeah, like that's kind of cool. Uh, um, just one per printing, one new cover per printing. Yes. Well, I believe that, that's well, how it's that, pronounced. That, what's that? It's carry carry. That's how that's pronounced, right? I believe so. Yeah, I, I believe always, that's what it is. I always said care, but I have no idea. We we um, did we did a, we did a three Caray, count way Caray back in Andrews. Day. You know him yeah, from I have no idea. KR KR. Oh. He's got know, his I'm own here. channel too, like his own oh, YouTube channel. So he with him drawing and his kids yeah. and stuff. Oh, cool. Um, and uh, with that, uh, that wraps up our news for this week. All right, cool. Good well, job on news. So, uh, that news. Bad. Yeah, not so bad. bad. That's, a, that's almost yeah, a compliment. Thanks. You almost created some content there, bud. Uh, no all right. <laughs> up next, up next. What do we have up next, Pete? Are we doing uh, well, yes or no? Yeah, we can do that real. Let's quick. do yes we'll or do no. We'll do that. It'll be quick, and then we can. Get I know. The, I know. Do Jack has read some of this stuff, so yeah. he won't be totally, totally lost. But where is my intro? There it is. Okay, but I need to share this one first. That's a lot of ice. Ooh, to baby. Add it to the stage. No spoiler reviews. Take it or leave it. A thumbs up, thumbs down. Well, sometimes we're in between a little bit. It's but... not super original. That's their gimmick, though. Like, it's literally their gimmick. Go ahead. All right. Our first book for this new comic book Wednesday. Slow down, Bri. Who got down and... Read some more Japanese horror Ugh. anime manga. I guess it's X Men. Yeah, yeah. Also, X Men too. He, you give like, it the up down. Go ahead, Jack. Go. I'm gi I'm giving it a side because th here's the thing. Like, ha have you guys read a lot of manga? It always sucks at the beginning. It's always slow at the beginning, and it never is what it ends up being at the beginning. So, like. Right now, I think it's slow, and I, I think it's going to be slow for a little while. It's But manga takes time to get good. But are you on it? Well, you can't go straight middle. Is it a little bit up middle or a, a little, little bit down? down I'm middle. fascinated. I want to I want right. to. If you want to know more, happy. that's good enough. One what in the butt. Good. You're one in the butt. There you <laughs> go. Crooked finger this way. There we because go. that's where I am also, because I'm still waiting for this to get good, but we ain't there yet. So I'm I have enough to get issue three. But we ain't there yet. I have a question. Is the fat guy in a little the, coat? Is he the gray thing? I'm just gonna say that without spoiling. He's Shadow Man? I'm thinking that's yeah. I think he's guess. Shadow Man, yeah. I'm thinking I, he's the ultimate shadow man. I know you guys are gonna I know because of my opinion on stuff is usually very strong uh with this. The only manga I'm used to reading is Japanese, which I didn't understand any of it, so I don't know how fast the thing picks up, but I will give you a thumbs up on this. Because I read this book and was like I was like, okay, okay, because like I want the next book. I want to yeah. find out if fat guy with the 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 bucket on his head is somebody. You know <laughs> what I mean? I got you. I, that's the only reason I'm still on board. The character on the front is just trash. So like, good good job everybody overpaid for that. But like, not trash. It just it it, it was, was like just slow. Like, yeah. Like, hey, nice to meet you. Hey, let's go on an adventure together. She cool. threw, she she threw leaves at somebody. Hold on, time out. She threw leaves at somebody. She literally just threw leaves at somebody. Like, no, I thought it was story. like a wind cyclone thing. Of what leaves? about the musical pet she pulled out of her, her jacket? What was that all about? Yeah, but I'm okay with it. Because I okay. hey, but I'm okay. But I'm okay with it because she didn't like it's okay. Because it's just weird. And they did the thing yeah. with the suicide thing, which I was like, wow, they they stepped out. You know, for the guy that's like they made an adult book for, or adult movie with Joker for adults. They kind of did something here where they did go towards that realm of like. I mean, the rest thing, next thing I want to see is a little boy getting, you know, not a little boy. I'm not going to say it like that. If you know Japanese stuff, though, the big eye thing going on and sweating all the time, like round face character, like 
that's it. And then they got me, you know, there we go. So, All right, well, Dub, did you read this one? Yes or no? I that's did not it. read this one. Well, based off our crooked thumbs up and Marco's full on, we can still give this a take it for this week. Yeah. Good enough to continue. And I, I'm fine with that. I'm going to get issue three. I'm still on board at least. To check Can't they out. make her Japanese? I don't I don't think she's like white, bro. Uh, that's, and it's that's not Storm, really Storm, though? I, thought, I didn't know I, that was Storm. It's, it's not, not Storm. Storm. It's like it's May. Oh, it's May. Whatever. It's a girl yeah. who's like obsessed. Like, I think they said she's like Storm is her hero or something. So like, yeah. So she tries to dress like her, but she really just could throw you, throw leaves at you. Yeah. The leaves. Leaves. Hey, kid leaves. leaves. Let's pick right. up leaves off the ground and throws them. You're getting two. What's that? John Chi's mom only threw leaves, and that was pretty effective. Yeah, when Black Spider. It's game. not leaves. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't That's like hard. she's shooting lightning down and doing all this stuff. No, she literally, like, something with maybe, maybe she swept the floor really hard or something. Leaves, leaves kicked. Oh, I don't boy. know what it was. We'll find out, I guess, what her power is, but. I think if she could, she she can blow. I think she's got wind. a wind power. Okay. She has a wind power yeah. because she could blow. She could blow wind out of her mouth really hard. <laughs> Is it her mouth? I think so. I think she would like. I know. I, I before we say something that's going to be regrettable, let's go to our next book. As I have a yeah. punishment, Marco said, "Pick this or this." I think I picked wrong. Weapon X Men number two. Mostly because I was just, I was still curious of where they were going to go with this ragtag group of Wolverine. This is a turd in a bucket thrown up on top of and then stirred around with a dead animal. Well, I I saw both you and Jack quickly answered my call. (laughs) This is fucking horrible. I'm, I'm, I gotta, I'm gonna quickly join you because as I said, this was just not good in. Did you do the Miss Marvel one or no? No, no. As like I said, I that picked, one, I I picked surprised between the two and I picked this one. <laughs> no, I surprised you. Well, poorly. I'm a Mojo fan, so they had Domo there too. It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. This just I didn't understand where they went. I like I don't get it. Like, wait, did they go to yeah. the Phoenix's actual universe already? I thought that was the was the point they were. She was avoiding. I I don't know, dude. Like this thing is so it's so bad. I was reading it. I put it down, and then like I came back and uh, I was talking to my son. I came back and I sat right on top of it without even realizing that I put it down on on the couch, and then like didn't even realize I was sitting on it. And then went like, oh crap! I mean, we had, had sad that Earth X Wolverine and just Jean Grey just, just eating on the couch watching TV just being miserable together and hey that's the universe we're getting our silver server from cool yeah this thing sucked it was just not good yeah it sucked it was trash it was horrible this is horrible right. i'm assuming dub you didn't waste your time on this no all right let's give dc hey, a shot watch your mouth if you're a captain america fan that just tells you what your taste is did anybody go on and check out action comics 1064 yes but here's the problem I have with it. Well, we're starting first... off with problems already. No. <laughs> Does, did anybody else read this, or do you... I did? I did. I read it. Okay. the The back sixty three percent was decent, but I'm done with this. Like every fucking action comic we read, we have to see every fucking uh, Superman uh, or super family member. We have to reintroduce everyone every time. There has to be some love thing going on in every single one that has nothing absolutely I, I, I all to do with the story. But remember, please watch your language. A point. But when you read a piece of shit like this, how can you watch your language? Like the first, like it could DC just can't get out of its own way. I know it was just Lois running and hey, everybody we the can think of. Hey, Lois Lane. Just garbage. Yeah, hey, it's just garbage. What was his name? Bib- Bibbo. Hey, Bibbo. Well, talk well that's you. why they did it. If if you cut it, the price, right? If you if you gave us a if you cut twenty pages out of this eighty page book and gave us only thirty pages, it would have been good. So, so if you just would have cut to hey, Lois showed up for the yoga class, and then Clark shows up, and he goes, "Oh shit, we got to stop." There's Lobos coming, and you yeah, I don't even I you don't even go that far. You just have Lobos coming in. Well, that's, what that's what they got there. They, I, that's I, I the stop in the yoga class. You don't have to explain Lois Lane at all. 
just have the Lobos and then have them attack Lex Luthor. We're supposed to do non-spoiler rolling. Fuck it. You have that going on, then Brainiac, good, done. 30 pages. So so you're 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 just down on this one? Yeah, I'm like um no, I'm like almost good, but then down, yeah. So you're a crooked down. See, then that's gonna be a problem because yeah. I'm a crooked up because again, oh, I like the second half, like you said. I hated the beginning because it took too long to get going of her just running through town, like hey, it's Lois with the day off. I, I don't care. But once, all right, we got Lobos and you got Lex, and then you heard all the people getting taken, and Brainiac's got plans. I'm curious where this is going to go. Yeah. Jay, so now bad. we're stuck. No, we're not because Black Spider voted trash. Uh, Jack, uh, anybody yeah. else in the chat? Because I know Jack said he shook his head no, and I know Dub didn't read this one either because this is. But Jack's Jack, Black, Black, Black Spider read it, says trash. Get it out of here. Send it. Anyone else? No, <laughs> nobody else, Pete. Leave it. I just want to make sure. We're not Dude, it was it, this this, this was hard. This was hard to read because of the because of the beginning. All right. So you had you had to get through the beginning and then yeah. All right. Leave I'm it. still probably gonna check out part two, which takes place in Superman 13 or something. Part two might not be bad, but this sucks. I know. I'm just saying I'm I'm in enough for part two. That's why I gave it a crooked thumbs up because I still want to know where this storyline overall is gonna go. Hmm. Unlike this. This was just. Yeah. You know what I'm going to say? get past like two pages. I'm like, what am I reading? I don't care. Really? Are these guys. I didn't. But this. Okay. This is. This oh, is some sort of mercenary black ops mission of characters. I don't know their names, nor do I care about them. No, no. There's only one care. person. This I was. <laughs> I was just surprised that they were making Spider-Man 2099 with Spawn. Exactly. But they didn't even like really do that well either. It's like they just <laughs> they, they put this whole futuristic world in like somebody's beach house. So you didn't even really get to see much of this future world. That's so like he gave you five pages in here that could form a story that was good. He didn't five. write this, by the way. Or who? Knew- Whoever did this gave you five Eric, uh, Schultz. Cause like, hey man, okay, Eric you're doing Schultz this thing this? where Erica Schultz wrote this. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're doing this thing Not where you're that. you're you're trying out these verses. You're giving them parts, and the blackout happens, and like somehow the blackout, like that was actually an interesting concept. Oh, they were just. But you threw that in the middle for no reason, not explaining explaining it at all. I didn't read you how they were, you know, as part of the team. You got the one guy who just always wants to cause the problem, and these guys. Try- that's, so yeah, that stuff's is, stupid. Yeah, it just don't give me the cliche team makeup. Like this is like an '80s action flick. Like, okay, this is well, this is the Jesse the Body Ventura character. This is the the guy who's just gonna get hit with the uh, right. That's not what I'm saying. Wood, and you're gonna have to drag his ass, yeah, you know, to the chopper. What I'm saying is like the the concept of the power going off and the cybernetics not working. That seemed like it could have gone someplace if the book was somehow about that. But that's not what the book was fucking about. So throw this. One. I don't know. I'm. Yeah. This was. I did. I, I read this. To... Or I. I. Re- I actually went. Got through this whole book. No, you didn't. Did you and I wish I would have not. Yeah, you I deserve a read. medal. Yeah, I. I, I, <laughs> I started I, after page two. I started skimming. I'm like, I, I went. Didn't... I went in order, and I got. Through two and a half books, and unfortunately, this was the second one on the list. So that you know what they should take a they should take a I didn't say Dinesh's name earlier. It wasn't of any spite. I still you know, still friends like the guy, but they should take a, a page out of Dinesh's book and like if you finish Rat City one, you should get like a pin or a donut or some shit like that. Yeah, like that's what they should do. You, you could have hidden a secret word somewhere in the in the dialogue, and if you say yeah. the dialogue to your <laughs> LPS owner, you get a free pin. The okay. Alice owner, take a take a selfie. You get a free pin. Bless you. You get a free pin, and yeah, a, yeah, a mini rough. book. Yeah, or, I, haven't, or, I haven't read any Spawn in in years, and I broke that streak today. Or a hug. Or a hug. This is not the place to start. <laughs> yeah, no, this. I but you know, there's very little Spawn in it, right? Are you, do you are you Mark? Or you want to give a little halfy thumbs up? Is that what you're telling me? You seem to be defending this an awful lot. No, I'm saying no, no. What I'm saying is like at first I was like, wow, this is terrible. But then the cons, do you like? Sometimes you see something, and you're like, okay, it starts the off. Of Spider Man twenty ninety nine or Batman Beyond. Yes, I understand. No, like, no, 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 not even that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like the concept of the like 
after all that, like, yeah, <laughs> like I said, it was only three pages, but the concept of like something like a, like a, what's it called? An e EMD going off EMP. or something EMP going off. And then like somehow that affecting cybernetics and all the people who have cybernetics because they test a ton of people. Like if they went that route with the story would have been super cool. Mm. But instead they like at the end had spawn form on the guy's nutsack, which I don't understand. So no. I just say leave it. That's what I would say. Yep, I know you eventually got there. However, put the book in the chopper. Uh, Transformers number seven. I got about halfway through this book only because of time. Okay. Um, there was a pretty cool fight. Yeah. Um, I I saw the I read about the fight. I saw the um, I don't. Partial dismemberment, I guess I will say. Mm -hmm. I, I, it was pretty cool. And then I couldn't finish. I, I'm going to go back and finish it because that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. So from what I read, I'm in on this book. I want to finish what I read. One of the main characters in it is a character I love. Go ahead, Jack. This book is awesome. Like the blow. This book is awesome. It just is. Like the shot where the laser gun blows up, like, shoots him, and he starts, like, blowing up through all the energy in his body is so cool. Beating, mm -hmm. uh, like, beating the shit out of, um, oh, right, sorry, no spoil. Like, it's really good. Like, I, I, <laughs> I, I think the book's better without Daniel Warren Johnson as the artist. I, I think this artist... Jorge Corona. It's, it's, yeah. His is, line, is, 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 over? His is lines are a lot it? cleaner. Yeah, and so it's a lot easier to follow the action I find. I guess, um, yeah. All right. I got. It. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I have a hard time following action and comics sometimes. So like cleaner lines help me a lot. I, I get you. I like Daniel Warren Johnson, but I do see what you're saying. This yeah. was a little bit of an easier read in that sense. Where I didn't have to stop and look at the art for a bit to be like, what's going on over here? Yeah. Like, like oh, kind of where did. am I supposed to follow and how am I supposed like, to get oh, He didn't drew like a yeah. milk carton on the ground. That's not important, but I thought it was important because he drew it and it's yeah. there. Yeah. But he bothered. He took the time to draw it, so I thought it was important. But it really right. Wasn't. The art looked a lot yeah, details like details aren't always good. It's G one style art, if that makes like it looked a lot like G one, and it looked like G one on Cybertron because it was kind of gritty, uh, yeah. but it was clean at the same time. Yeah. So like I really, I definitely in, uh, liked the art better than the previous so many issues, and what I read was really good. Like even, I mean, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but. He made like character like Huffer look cool on the page. Huffer, yeah. I don't like Huffer, Lord, but Huffer looked it. cool on the page. Target. Yeah, yeah, it lo it looked good. So, yeah, Johnson uh, is still writing. He's that still is writing, cool. and I, I have no problem he with his writing. writing. I like the story. Yeah. Um, I have to disagree. I think the yeah. art is trash. It's horrible. Look it's distracting. You. It's dung on a page. However. Get over there on your island all by yourself. I, I love the book because the writing's so good. Like, oh. the writing of the book is so good that, like, it doesn't you didn't matter. You like the art. Oh, the art sucks. It's terrible. Really? Yeah, for, especially for Transformers. It's fucking horrible. Um, eh, I don't know. But, like, I really do. Yeah, I mean, I think when people I review back on it, it's really like the extra line bullshit mind. that McFarlane used to do on Spider-Man covers. Like, then people make fun of it years later. I think we're going to hear the same thing with this shit. But, like, um... I really liked it. Obviously, if you have Soundwave in it, I'm gonna like it anyways. Um, I like the route they you went. You don't like I, the detail, even on the on this cover here, that Starscream's pulling out the tape. From yeah, like all the like tape shit. There's literally there's tape. tape, like the, cassette tape. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> but this is, but this isn't what the inside of the book really looked like. Like it was very well, no, because he's not doing the art. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. The art on the inside is what I had. Kind of, I don't have a problem with that portion of it. The inside there was a lot of like. Let's fill in space. Uh, whatever. I'm not going to get into I, the tech I, I didn't mind. I'm, I'm still on board to give the new artist a, uh, a, a fair That's shake. That's fine. But what I'm telling you is, like, I, I truly enjoyed the storytelling. I mean, that just tells you how much I enjoyed the storytelling because it did such a good job. It had some good characters that we liked. And, yeah. I mean, I think even if you dislike the art. Okay, just so uh, we can make, make more still room like for all of the yeah. thumbs up. Because this is... You're still like, make sure you're reading Transformers. Yeah, I That's had a... Good. Your mom was drooling on my chest here. I had to wipe it off there. AOA. That's the gist of it. Um. So yeah, uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Quickly, I like it. It's a good book. 
quickly, just to wrap up our segment, we will get to our two quick. It was a ram cassette. I don't know, Jack, if you're keeping up with the series, but it is one that uh, at least the three of us are big fans of. That's Shogun. Funny. Shogun's so good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Game of Thrones yeah. with Samurai. I'm not to spoil anything, but this is the weekly update for Shogun. I did. I missed last week. Last week, I had to let these guys carry the weight because I didn't watch, but I watched both last week's and this week's today, so I'm all caught up. So last week, I said they rope adopt us, and they have moved on from the original series, and I will be intrigued to see how they finish this off because of what happened. And then they said, no, sir, you're a moron. We're still going to reference the new series. They did it differently, but they still did it and brought it back in seamlessly and did a wonderful job with it. Like a wonderful job with it. Like I was like, man, there's got to be only what? What did I say last week? There's got to be what? One episode left because there's no way they can extend it, right? Like they missed a the whole. Yeah. And they go, no, we no more. nobody. Nuh-uh. We used we use that thing that happened the, the week before as a MacGuffin to then reintroduce this part in a different style and a different way of doing it. Um, and I think to keep a character around who I would imagine fans really enjoy, but maybe dies in the books and the original series a little bit sooner, or I don't think that character. I'm trying not to give away. I don't think that character is going to die at all now. Well, I saw Jack's reaction. I'm giving a thumbs up, and you don't mind. Yeah, right? thumbs up too. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up. This is great, man. I loved it already. It's still thumbs up. Yeah, I just was like, I think Joe was the same way. I think both of us were like, we still like it, but like they did get away. I just want now it's going to be all original material somehow or whatever. And no, they, they like wow. I mean, yeah. like no, wow. I, I hear it. And I told you before, I did watch the original series way way back yeah. with my dad, but I don't remember any of it. It's one of those things you you watch it, but you didn't appreciate it because you were too young. To really watch it, so I don't. So there's there's enough. So I'm hookers. gonna go back and watch it once this is done, and I also did not read the book. Uh, maybe so, I'll listen to it on the. So there's enough hookers that I think I can say this for people that see it without spoiling anything. But the hooker scene. She wasn't the a hooker, hooker, Joe. The hooker scene changed way differently from the original, but still had the similar feeling of what happened during that. Like that. Wow, that was amazing how they did it. Well, it was just amazing how they did. It. I thought it was good. So, um, great. It was great. I, Dub, I can't wait for the next episode. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say about this show. Like when it's over, like I have a few, oh god, it's about to end. I hate that it's about to end. I really want to see the next episode. Like that's where I'm at with the show. Like I can't. It's almost over, and I'm already waiting for the next one to start. Like it's so good. I will tell you that like there is even a scene that maybe if you didn't see the first one. And something really occurred that you're like, no way this is going to happen. And it happened. That did happen in the first one. And you knew it was coming. And they still did a damn good. Damn, they still did a damn good job at it. Uh, not still... as many hawkers as you might think, Brian Jay. It's been a while since we've got hawkers. But it's not for everybody. Hookers? No. Oh, yeah. Hookers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. just talking about the parts of the, the hookers. No, 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 no. There wasn't. Uh, there wasn't anything. No, there's like, if you know, you know. Well, but, you know, well, my man. Couple was, more weeks, we'll be able to talk about spoilers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait for the show to finish. His brother is getting squanchy for a second there. He had the squanch. Whose brother? Uh, Tornaga. When he was with, he was, he was doing a little bit of the scarf around the neck. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wasn't talking about. Yeah, I was. No, I was actually so like. In the, the alley scene, the alley scene, that's actually a hooker. Like, you don't know because they don't say it's a hooker, but that's a hooker in the alley with that one guy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 but they did differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I was surprised how they did that. They did a great job with that. Yeah. yeah. So this show comes on Tuesday night, Tuesdays on FX, uh, and it's also streamed on Hulu and Disney, Disney Plus and Hulu if you have yeah. the combined yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, I, uh, the new episode every Tuesday, there are two episodes left. Uh, they, this was episode eight of ten, so um, I'm genuinely uh, a huge fan of this show. I have not seen the original. I have not read the book. I just went into this show, and I'm all about it. I will go back and yeah. Uh, I can't wait. Do you want to add Jack? That's yeah. Again, did you want to? Did you read it or did you see the original version, Jack? Or did you see the? I haven't. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the original or read the book. I just. Love yeah, you could have because you call it Game of Thrones, and then we say like no because this was before Game of Thrones, and then 
our last person told us that there was dragons around during the Renaissance era, and how do we know that they weren't there? <laughs> I said it wasn't yeah. like they burned down the uh, the library in Alexandria at that time. <laughs> it might be a new show, Marco's new show. Uh, dragons be real, bro. yeah, yeah. Pill- should I say pillows? Should I say uh, the, the pillowing? Pillowing, yeah. Pillowing. Yeah, good. I'm glad, man. Okay. Well, we're oh, all on board for show. Thank you, thank you. We all like the show, show now. Thank you. Before we yes. can leave this section alone, did we all get to X Men '97 today? I did I'm not. I'm here. very behind on this. I've heard it's like the best at thing Marvel's done. D- this, yeah, this thing X Men '97 is really good. Yeah, I'm really, really it is. I'm so mad, but it's, it's, it was like good. It was good, man. It was good. They keep introducing It's so hard characters. to talk because this, yeah. is a, this is a spoilery type of episode. If there is a spoilery episode, go catch well, it. Well, remember, remember it was right. If you listened to last week, it did focus on Gambit. It did. It was That's all I say. the music, the the way that they they put this thing together. It was real top men notch. <laughs> It was Bro, top notch. They built drama and, and how suspense. they did all that stuff was like. Oh, that branding was. Like, it started uh, slow. It started slow, but man, did it! But it did it because all the whole time slow. It was coming out. I was like, oh my god. Well, I know. I Look mean, at all the characters like, are like, oh, what's going on here? And I get it. It oh, felt maybe. like filler. It felt well, maybe, like filler. But no, but that wasn't. wasn't. That wasn't. It wasn't. That was, I know. That's what I'm saying. That was it fan, feels like filler, like, uh, but it's not. Once you watch the episode as a whole, it's not yeah. Filler. But also, it was there was a lot of fan service. Oh yeah, yeah, like like so much, it was overwhelming almost. Um, There we go. Yeah, there was a lot of little cameos and Easter eggs. Yeah, just so many. Look who's there. Look who we got there. Yeah, Dazzler shows. Oh, spoiler! Dazzler shows up. But it was all stuff that, like, if you didn't know who those characters were, it didn't take away from the experience. No, absolutely. No, no, you would have no idea. Like, if you don't know who Psylocke is, you're like, oh, Morph just turned into some hot chick with swords. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like it still works just as well. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, I think some of the people that were like, I guess, if you thought it was slow, maybe those Easter eggs weren't for you. But it wasn't so slow. I think you turned the show off, right? Like, it made enough sense. Where like, like that's yeah. the complaint sometimes with Star Wars. Sometimes they're just like, "Hey, everybody, see this? You should like this because it's an Easter egg." X Men didn't do that. They told the story and then had like just like the Easter bunny like was puking shit out while shitting it out. It's back into all over the place. And it was magnificent. Yeah. It was like oh, rainbow yeah. candy. Coming off why I'm saying is it feels like it started slow is because this is coming off of the heels of how they ended last week, which was more of a slower paced. It's yeah. Mormon forge in a cabin. Oh, so well, just wait. Short shorts, like just wait, just wait, just wait. Cause we're getting life. And death. I know too. we got to get part two of that. So, I mean. so next week, you guys take your vitamins. Would she uh, Hulk Hogan? No, I don't know if she was. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think next week, I think if there's going to be a complaint on any of this uh, episodes, next week is the one we're going to get the backlash on. Maybe, maybe, yeah. but it might it's not all be about what they're, what the title is. Well, the first one was exactly about the title. So like, I think the second one's going to be too. Uh, or, oh, I see what you're saying. Ah, Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> okay. I did not get caught up to this yet. I had a choice to make yesterday. I had a little time to watch and I did not I watched a different Disney Plus show and not this one. Well, this wait, you, doesn't you, it is out today, right? Not this one you had to wait since today. Wait today. No, I but have... I mean like I I'm like I saw the first episode so far and that's it. Oh and I was it? behind on both oh, I was behind on this oh. and Bad Batch. And it was at night, so like Bad Batch doesn't like look good on my TV during the day, so I caught up on Bad Batch. I'm behind on Bad Batch, but yeah. I don't have to worry about it because I'm not on. Sunday. I haven't watched this season. I need to catch up. Oh, it's you got to watch it, Jack. This I was this I was talking to Pete. Great. Pete said something, and then it made it clicked in my head because I I watched this episode and I don't no I'm not talking to hookers. All right, go. Um, so this is a we're done with comics, like take it or leave it. Comics, I thought there was one other comic we were supposed to read. Which one? I read another comic, I read uh, Marvel? no, Uncanny Valley that was on the list. Oh, I threw that in at the end, but oh, I, didn't I didn't read, read that. that. Yeah, oh, I read you're that talking one. about oh, you're talking about Tony's thing. Tony's yeah, book. I thought that, I, I read that one first, like 
bad because I thought that I was... put it in there. I was like, hey, you guys want to do this? I actually read it too, Dub. I was. Oh, dude, I just but... walked. I walked to the car shop. Car shop. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a thumbs up. The Uncanny Valley. I yeah, I, I would I'm recommend that one. Yeah, it was interesting. Tony Fleek style definitely was in it, and um, I liked it a lot. So I know it's not on the list, but I did read that one and I enjoyed it. So. I really do think they should give him another shot of doing a crossover with Transformers and something else. Because he did a good job with the Transformer Pony crossover. Transformer give him a, Pony crossover. Yeah. My kids keep asking for another one. I'm like, I don't know, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Dude doesn't want to do them. So, uh, can we get into how much time you got left, Jack? Oh, uh, I got all the time you need. We're going to under then. We'll do under the radar. Oh, shoot. You got to do the thing. Oh, let me you run my thing, run your thing for you, and then you can get to your under the radar. Well, you got to create some type of content, Pete. <laughs> yeah. I do. Where the hell is it, though? Well, I can do it. You want me to do it? Okay. You got oh, yeah. it. Please. You got to go for it. <laughs> All right. Since we talked. I can't find it. Since we talked about <laughs> X-Men, on. we're not spoiling anything. Uh, we did talk about Easter eggs. However, uh, and you know what we've been doing lately on this, it is very X-Men 97 heavy. Uh, we will start off with Glob Herman and his first appearance. And I took these out of the picture. Blob from the Herman. Show. What a name. Yeah. I know, dude. Just a blob of a man. But he, to be honest, he's been on a bunch of different teams. They use him all the time. Yes. This is a character we thought they would have gotten rid of because just because. But he is like this goofy character they have turned him into uh, that plays well. Um, is that a... Believe it or- is that an X Men character? Is that a mutant? Yeah, what, it, what is no, it's mutant? Bu- no, it's a new X Men character. It's a new mutants character. It's a. I, I think Look, it was. An did X-Men they go movie. to like the Operation game and just take that guy and make him into an X Men character? They just said, "Hey, take a fat guy, make him see through." Yeah, and make give him see through pretty guy. much, and then make him like they want to make him a little bit of comic relief and like fat shaming people at the time was not a good look, so they just made a see through fat guy. And, you know, he plays the Chris Farley character. Like, that's what they did. A little bit of a punching bag, a little bit joking around, very happy-go-lucky type dude. So, uh, it's part of that new X-Men. This new X-Men series really is, like, the key. Like, if you can buy the run, buy the run. Because there's, like, first appearance after first appearance. Enough characters they keep continuously using over and yeah, over. Grant and over. Morrison just, he was, yeah. what can I think of? So I, can, I got a half-bird guy. I got, I got a see-through fat guy. See-through fat guy. I got whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got a, a French assassin. You know, he's got a bunch of characters, like some better than other ones. So, um, but Raws are going for four dollars. If you put, if you put it as first appearance, beak and glob explanation point, Frank quietly beast cover. Then you can sell it for four dollars. If you don't, and just put first appearance, same type of stuff. With the fire, fire 2001 marvel comics fire near mint that does not it helps most books they even use the key emoji that does not help this book because then you Man, they had the fire and keys and it's still but that's the books. problem they put both in there so that's confusing cancel oh, yeah. it out. with either the key or the three fire emojis and that's what usually works so if they will put I, fire first appearance yes okay so, yeah I, uh, I think i mean that's that's what i my understanding is that you can't mix the two emojis together it confuses uh, people one, you can't mix the emojis. Two, you have to have an odd number of said emoji. He does mm-hmm. listen to Van Ridd down by the river. <laughs> uh, uh, last CGC, a uh, highest CGC sell was a 9.6 for $42. Not too long ago. So there you go. All right. Yeah, they need a diamond. Yeah, key diamond. Oh, yeah, diamond that's key. the worst. Sweet tooth. No, it's not. This is, oh my God, you just forgot. Nature Girl? Or is it Nature Forest Girl? Girl? What do they Woo! call her? Yeah, is it Nature Girl? Yeah, they call her Nature Girl. Lily. Yeah, uh, Nature Girl. She actually shows up in Wolverine and the X-Men. Now, I've talked about Wolverine and the X-Men before. Wolverine and the X-Men, this is Series 2. I love Series 1. Also has a ton of first appearances in it, like iBoy. iBoy's all in that thing and everything. Kid Gladiator. Yeah, yeah Kid, Kid Gladiator's Gladiator. the big one that's in that yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. Um, And it's a really, like, if you just want something easy to read that's fun and doesn't mean stuff. I Except remember for, when that series came Jack, out, the first Wolverine and X-Men. I did not want it. I was like, I don't want this. But is it is it in volume one or volume two where they have circus people like kidnapping little kids? I think, I think it is. A, yeah. So it's a little creepy too. Like there's a little bit of creepiness to it. Well, too, so. well then they also had the this what is it, Son of Krakoa too was also a on 
site and a student. Well, they all who yeah, somehow, who somehow never showed up in a single Krakoa era era book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, never, we're not going to bring that back. Spec miss of all time. I bought like ten copies of Excalibur thirty one. Didn't do shit. <laughs> But you also, but you also had a, a whole group of little. This is in volume one, not volume two. Little psychopath kids that were literally trying to even kill each other, which is kind of a cool storyline. Either way, this book, which should be a dollar bin digger, is actually four fifty on average, so a little bit above dollar bin digging. Um, we love this book. Oh. I always try to throw out one that I think is undervalued. And I the like characters. this character, but his role in this episode was that of a, a Britney backup dancer. Who gives a shit? Um, it's just another way for us to talk about this character in a book that I feel is undervalued. Uh, he is on the cover in his all fullness, so because we've talked cover, about this many times, I want an X Factor Investigations Disney Plus series. Oh, That's I do too. I I think it's sweet. Me too. Me too. That's Me what too. I want. Pip, I want Pip, the, Pip the Troll shows up every once in a while. Pip the Troll shows up every once in a while. You have a good time, right? Um, uh, but here we go. So he's on the cover and inside Giant Size Fantastic Four, Volume One, Number Four. Still to this day, Raw is selling. And by say, it said this copy is nice mid. I don't know what nice mid was, <laughs> but it sold for ten dollars and fifty cents. And although nice nineteen seventy five explanation God. point explanation <laughs> point sold for more. I looked at both he, copies. They got that nostalgia. They got those people who are like, yeah, seventy five was a good year, bro. I I, I put them. them next to each other. The ten dollar and fifty cents was uh, was four grades higher. Easily like four grades higher. See, I think I still need one of these. I, gotta go I mean, you're look. talking like a 7 0, 8 0 for the 10 I'm 50. fine with that. You're talking about like a 3 for the 24 99. It was bad. Uh, 9 6 is the big banger there because it's 572 99. However, uh, everything leading up to that, including 8.0s, is only like a hundred dollar book. And after 8.0s, it drops to CGC grade books, drop to like 40 bucks on them. So, like, if you're going for like a, a 7 5, 7 0. It's like 40 bucks, bro. Uh, so like you try to get in there. It, I mean, you, you, it's a black cover, but it also, it does. It's, you know, it's giant. It's also size, giant it's size. Thicker, fantastic four. That's what, that's why it's a tough one to get in a high grade because who the fuck is buying that? Nobody. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, Pixie. I like Pixie. I remember I said years they ago. They mishandled her in the movies though. Yeah, but four years ago, people were like, hey, this is an underrated character. They thought they were going to do a good job with her. Can you find out the first? It is very confusing. I will tell you what's labeled as the first is not a first. We do this a lot. You're going to let to decide what you can. Neither is the other X-Men book that we're going to do, but the uh, new, oh, mu- new X-Men cover. volume two, number five, is what people on eBay listed as her first appearance, $2 average for Raw. You tell me on these two panels where the fuck she is, or these two pages. Is she the red-haired girl? Right, in under the armpit? That's not somebody else's armpit. That is actually somebody else's leg. She's in somebody else's leg. I think I pinpointed them. Yep, that's her there. Oh, oh, oh back there. Okay. Yep, that's oh. her there. Uh, that's her there. And then her wings are back here. I have never seen a book that should be called a cameo more than this piece of shit. And that's what it is. <laughs> I don't go with the uncanny 210 or whatever because she's flying in the fucking background either. Um, if you're going to buy this book, buy it, do whatever you're going to do, but you should also go to, uh, I don't know, new X-Men number 12, where you get to see her 20 times and she's named and she's sitting on a deck in a bike helmet. You get to see her. I mean, this should be her first appearance. It is her first appearance in my, uh, in my opinion, new (laughs) X-Men. Yeah. Oh, this is fine. Look at it though. So I think a lot of people are. Uh, speculating that this will be her first appearance when it comes to playing with her because for some reason people think this is an underrated character. New X-Men Volume 2, number 12. Raw near mint listings, $6. You can get $3, 4 $5, whatever. However, if you call it near mint plus 9.6, you can either spend $120 Cana- or $1.20 Canadian or $0.90 cents American and you can get a higher rank grade book. Both was just the cover of the book. I mean, they didn't show you any pictures. But uh, you put don't put plus on there or 9.6 because if you do, you will sell for less. Uh, also, there is an available listing for it. It's because you put 9.6. People are going, go, oh, I want a 9.8. Maybe that near mint one is a 9.8. Yeah, no. Uh, also, <laughs> uh, there is an available copy for $3.99. It is listed as 
8.0 first at Marvel Comic Book Zero. Oh, sorry, that's not a zero. Marvel Comic Book O through 109. That's their own filing system that they wanted to include all of us in the eBay listing so they can find it later. They do not tell you what the first appearance is. They do not tell you what's important. It's a first appearance. Well, it actually, as a matter of fact, is it's the first appearance of DJ, a character nobody gives a shit about, uh, and people thought didn't have powers in the first place. And part it's the first appearance of the Paragon squad. That's actually uh the Why squad. Are you about knockoff of, I think you're thinking of a different character, Bri J with the knockoff of Starfire. Because it's not the character on the cover here. Yeah, it's no. the girl with the wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, girl with wings. Because I think on the cover, who is that supposed to be on the cover? A lot of people. I don't know why I said a lot of people too, but I said a lot of people to some people. Uh, okay, so there you go. I would buy this book though if I could. You can find it cheap. People don't pick this book. Up. I mean, for a while it was like on the 90. boards, on the speculation boards. This that's why six right. bucks. I'm pausing, but ninety cents. Okay, ninety yeah, cents. You could get this book for a dollar. Get a book for a dollar. Yeah. Uh, Exodus. Uh, for those that don't know, I did a little Exodus, like him. Uh, saw him in the background there, so I said, "Hey, cool, let's do some Exodus." Part of now this is scene. now this is a very interesting way to list stuff. I think from now on, I might start listing stuff this way. Uh, X Factor Volume One Nine Two comes with a little reflector in there, also. Raw, oh so yeah, for, hologram. Yeah, the hologram. Raw so for fifteen ninety nine, and its description was. Thank you, Pete, for Vintage X Factor. Look at it. I you got it listed right there. Vintage X Factor. Very good. 92 uh, is vintage. However, if you name who the first appearance is in there and say it's a minor key, you can only get three bucks for it. CGC not nine eight ninety five dollars. Vintage X Factor. I'm just gonna start putting vintage everything. It's vintage. Finally, a dollar book that some character that really doesn't make any sense. We don't know why he shows up, but since now he showed up, he had probably a, go. He had a little scene. Squid Back boy. Right. Well, that's him in there. So Squid Boy comes out from Uncanny X-Men, Volume 1, 410. No other reason to pick up this book. $2 average raw, probably a dollar. I did not but, like that run of X-Men. No, it's terrible run. This character's terrible. That Chuck Austin run with the whole, uh, you had Stacy X and you had... I love Stacy X. Anything did, did, did you like when Angel and Husk were just banging above their family at the picnic? Because I thought that was, was all funny. I thought... <laughs> A drug a drug dealing hooker as an as an X Men character is hilarious. You are all about the hooker thing today, huh? That's what she's right there. Is. She's even on the she's cover. Right there on the cover. What do you want me to tell you? I didn't come up with the stuff. She's she became there. part of the team. <laughs> what does Stacey X do? She secretes Hookers. something that's like ecstasy, and she's a hooker. Yeah. What do you want me to say? I didn't come up with the character. That was her vocation. That was her trade. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you don't have to come up with the character, but I mean, the, the number of times that you've shown your affinity for I talked about it. I brought it up. I'll be fair. I brought Thank it up. You. Yeah, I'm but he said he liked it. I just, no, I said I find it humorous the concept that they have people banging on the ceiling. And yeah, I put it all together because that was at the time of what he was writing for the book. And I'm like, good boy, gross. Damn it. I don't <laughs> want to keep getting these. All but right, next, like she dropped her clothes from up on high. Her mom was like, Oh, those kids. Like, what? <laughs> like, your daughter's banging some dude like three times her age above you in the sky. <laughs> I agree. This, this, it's once again, I love the fact, that, I love the fact that how fucked up that, like, how, 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 how did this get approved by anybody? Like, <laughs> any of those concepts you have them fucking up there you've got a hook uh, excuse my language a hooker and uh, handing out hex <laughs> Stacey's mom had it going on all right we've yeah, talked they're, about they're, this uh, their editor was just you sleep at the wheel yeah yeah, yeah, that's pretty, yeah. But, yeah was, put it in there I mean, how do you let that pass though oh, they were they were going bankrupt they were literally <laughs> oh yeah fair fair got a hooker character cool. so uh, we did this before a couple of weeks ago when we first like two weeks ago we looked at the book. It's it's actually gone. Up. The book this book has sold a little bit more volume now. It's Uncanny X Men two thirty five. It also has sold a little, but I mean it was like a four dollar a dollar book that went to a four dollar book that's now like a eight dollar book, right or seven eight nine ten dollar book. Um, but either way, uh, it has 
the Geonosian mutants in there too, which is also the press gang and a couple of those kind of showed up because they end up being the force. Well, it's Genosha. So, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, and then Genosis, and Genosis' first appearance in your two island. So there you go. It's Genosian, right? Not Geonosin. Geonosin, yes, Genosin. Not the Star Wars. Genosin, it's Genosin. not that Planet of Bugs from Star Wars where the Jedi's have No, no, it's them. the other one with the, the, the X-Men that all get wiped out by uh, with the collars and their slaves and stuff. That was Extinction Agenda, and that's what I always think of when I think of Genosha too. Is yeah, yeah no, that was part of it, but it no, was like that. I mean it's serious, right? I mean that's what happened. They got collars and they were imprisoned on Genosha. Yeah, yeah. In the first, in the original. But that's extinct. That we're probably gonna see it because the last couple of titles are called the extinction. So, spoiler alert. Is, uh... You didn't, you didn't, you didn't watch any of it, and then you just spoiled the whole series. Good job, Sub. I watched the original X Men series. That's what I'm talking about. But last I, up, I'm sorry I spoiled the show from 30 years ago. <laughs> but last up, considering we have Jack here to uh, not just sit around and make jokes in the chat and laugh at our stupid uh, comments about being content creators. <laughs> He's going to cover a couple, maybe different characters than you're used to seeing. We decided to cover Blackout. We've covered Blackout before in the early days of Tech. I thought we had something in the news about what episode of Tech this was, Dub. That wasn't in the news. That was just a, another, was a fun little, a little tidbit. Fun welcome little, welcome, yeah. welcome to episode Tech 150, where because uh, I was going to use it in the intro, but I didn't. Um, anyways, we get Blackout or Linen. Yes, Linen, right? Linen? No. That's not what you typed. That's Leland, maybe. Leland? Leland I is... I didn't know that was... The last dance either. of Mary Jane. Leland, this dude, yeah. This dude does look like he, he should be part of Guns N' Roses. He is like the spawn of a... Uh, what? Not a succubus. Is it a succubus? Yeah, probably. It's, we could use the word succubus. He's a vampire. Uh, yeah, but she puts him out there. He has a lot of things to do. He has a lot. He's a lot of, against a lot of the creatures of the night. He's a decent character. He was the to villain keep in the uh, second Nick Cage. Yes, right? yes, 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 yes. The second Anyways, Nick Cage uh, movie, Spirit of Vengeance. Blackout has trouble. Blackout has fallen off. There was an outlier for twenty dollars, but I think that was on the downturn of uh, news that he was going to show up in other comics. Was are selling for five dollars on average. Uh, if you buy the lots of everything except minus. Volume three, number one of Ghost Rider. Uh, they they sell for about ten dollars on average. So there you go. And leading into that leads us into the segment that we all came for with Jack tonight. Uh, Pete, we don't have an intro for it. There you go. We're just gonna go right into it. I'm gonna give a nice bloody red wall to, to kind of help us out sell this. Uh... Again, if you got well before we get to here, let oh, me just is. quickly show you all that. Jack did write a nice in this thing is the article is too in depth. That's why I had to trim it down to just 10 characters to watch. Cause if you look here, he, he's got all these, well, it'll jump to all these. Look at this. This, this is like an encyclopedia uh, of what he wrote of coming up for blood hunt. So I just went in, talked to him about some of the key points he wanted to hit and went in with the 10 characters that he wanted to uh, kind of cover and with the storylines and whatnot. So that's the angle that I took with it. So that's why we have the 10 characters. Right, Ludo, he's right. Toy Hunter's right. Where's the... Hey, thank you, Cosmic. I try it every week. I try to make it entertaining. Pete knows I keep getting stuck in these rabbit holes. He's like, dude, stop. You're adding too much. Like, oh, no. I know. Hold on. I got to take that down because it wasn't giving me my... Uh... There we go. This is what I needed. Is so I can move on to the next slide. That's what I needed. We needed uh -oh. this so we could talk about Blade. Sure. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Here's this is crazy. how is Blade doing? Fill us in, Jack, and how Blade's doing. Okay, so in his ongoing series, which just ended, he had a truce with Dracula, uh, and now has access to more of his vampire powers than ever before. So uh -oh. he's gonna, yeah. So he's gonna be way more powerful in this. Like, I can't believe the end of the series. I was shocked that that was the end. Yeah, it's. There, I think they ended it too early. The same way that they ended Black Panther, seemingly so that he could have an event tie-in. I don't know what they're yeah, doing. Reboot, um, restart, new number one. But yeah, uh, Blade should, Blade's in an interesting place right now. They they also introduced his daughter Bloodline yeah. after like I think it was like a decade or two decades of not bringing her in. 
Um, and he's been teaming up with Miles Morales. Um, so Which is weird. I, I don't get the Miles Morales thing. but it, Well, we'll get it to was, them. They're later on the like list. A, it was like a fun distraction kind of thing, but it's also because Miles ha- can make like an energy sword now, and like Blade knows how to use swords was also kind of part of it. Um, make a sword? Jesus, I've yeah. not been reading Miles for a while. It's a good sword. book. It's very, it's very anime-ish. Like it's it's a lot of like it reminds me of DBZ in a lot of ways. Um, but anyway, That's Cody, right? Cody Ziggler or whatever's writing that one. Yeah, now. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's up, Cody? I know Marco, you had mentioned you'd talk to him at one of the cons. Yeah, recently. the dude's wild, man. He's a cool guy. Yeah. Um so that's what's going on with Blade, and he's in this event, amongst other things, he's going to be leading the 90s version of the Midnight Sun. So they're going to bring yeah. all of those characters back. Um, it's not really clear what that book's going to be about, other than just those characters getting back together. That one feels like more of a cash grab to me than most of the other books. Well, yeah, I mean... Is it going to be the... Do you think it's going to be the main storyline split-off uh... thing? Where it's going to be like six or seven books that kind of give you like the and then you're gonna have to yeah no the tie-ins will be all the other books so it will be the bloodline yeah, so it's so like generalization and then like it's a lot of if you really want to see the action you got to get the other books to from, so from what i've read of jed mckay's interviews about like yeah. all of this the focus is very much for the main event book to stand on its own instead of like like or king in black where like king in black kept alternating between the main series and the venom book and you had to read yeah. like both like it's not that blood hunt should not be that. And part of that's because none of the big characters in it have like a big enough book to sustain it. Like Doctor Strange is not a huge seller by itself. Neither is Moon Knight. Like, so like you can't do that in the same way. That is what, I mean, those are the ones that it, they can work out very well. When you yeah. see the, I mean, Civil War, when they did Civil War, the way they did it, you have to remember some of those characters maybe weren't doing so well because who the fuck was buying Captain America at that point? You know, you see when they did Shadowland. Like run. Yeah, but it, like Brubaker's run is remembered for Bucky and like Bucky becoming Cap. Like, yeah, which yeah. happened as a civil war. Um, yeah. But no, you're absolutely right. And I same think- thing where you got Shadowland. Those want those events. I, I know I keep going back to it, but those events are the styles that I, I think they should always get back to. And hopefully, Jack, is that what you're telling this is going to be? Hopefully, it, that's, that's what it's supposed to be. And it's it, from what I found. Marvel events tend to be much better when they actually have years of story building them up. Like I thought, I thought uh, War of the Realms was better for that. I Oof, thought King and Black was War. better. Yeah, was better for that. Meanwhile, I thought Empire was a turd because it was like, just okay, we need a summer event or like Civil War two sucked because sucked. it was like we uh, needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Annihilation, um, another one where it built up for so long and then so it just good. so that good, man. Yeah, yeah, War um, Kings, Realm of Kings. That, I mean, that yes, was like you could do it. Where, yeah, 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 for sure. For um, sure. But, but yeah, so like this is coming out of a lot of threads that have been building for years. Like Jason Aaron started some stuff in 2019 with the Avengers that this is paying off. Like he's been, mm-hmm. Jed McKay's been planning this in Doctor Strange um, and in Moon Knight. Um, uh, Al Ewing's been planting this in those uh, Crypt of Shadows one shots. There's an element there. So like they've been building to this in a pretty organic way. For a long time, so I've, I'm excited about this event more than I've been excited for any Marvel event since like Judgment Day. Well, we talked about Blade. I have a question before you uh, move on. As okay. far as Blade goes, you said Blade is now in a truce with Dracula, so Blade the Vampire Hunter is now in a truce with his biggest enemy. That's what you're saying? Because. Only Dracula could teach him how to get access to the powers to beat the even tougher monster called the Adana, who was the focus of his ongoing series. Yeah, the, the most recent ongoing series, which... So yeah. he's kind made friends with his enemy to go after a bigger enemy. Under Correct. different, yeah. But this might be it. Toy, this is might be it. This, this has the feeling... Like, Guardians... Let's be real about Guardians of the Galaxy. Nobody gave a crap about Star-Lord before Annihilation. Yeah, nobody cared. Nova was on the on the death rolls before that. the the in the Inhumans couldn't like couldn't get out of D list characters and then came through there. So like same thing with uh, the War Realm. They had no idea what to do with all the space stuff that was going on with X Men, and they had to try to figure that out. And then we got another Summer Brother that was better than all the Summer Brothers put together. So like 
you know, that's hopefully that is what Jack described and what the author described. And then maybe we will get some long term like payoff for characters such as Ghost Rider and Bl- well, we, won't have- we also got to admit it's tough when you have to deal with characters like fucking Dracula. Yeah. Like it's Dracula. We, we got to sell Dracula to people. It's- but go ahead, Jack. But so this, so this is interesting. So they going through all the solicitations uh, for this stuff. Dracula is very explicitly not the big villain of Blood Hunt. It's someone who they haven't told us who it is yet. It's supposed to be a big mystery. I know you have Dracula. a theory, so I have him for the end. Yeah. Uh, so Dracula's on the side of the heroes. The reason being that his like control of the vampires has been usurped by this mystery villain. So he so this book is about him teaming up with Bloodline, Blade's daughter, to to do something. Ooh, I also have here. Yes. So they Yeah. So it's more like a bloodline book yes. with but, yeah. Yeah. But Dracula's the bigger name. And yeah. so I think they're just kind of exploring a different dynamic. I'm I'm interested to see it. I thought her first series showed some promise and it would be cool like it seems like a cool idea i think it gives blade another dimension besides just badass like him having yeah. a kid like, i think it gives him something interesting to do um but they need to show me more that it needs to be this book needs to be impressive for me to like buy into the character see i don't even know if it has to be that impressive i think it's taken two it's taken you know, like sometimes you take two C characters and you try to form them on the team to make like a B out of it. And that's kind of we're really a two D characters, I'll be honest with you. But we are, we have a, a character uh, on its I, Dallas. I you, you take two lesser characters, yeah. hoping that together one on its upper swing, match. one on its lower yeah. trajectory, you put them together <coughs> and they raise the die. Yeah. Bride uh Jake, to answer your question, so they've introduced the blood coven. That's like a group that will be in it, but they're not the main bad guys. They're like the Stooges, they're they're almost like the Ginyu force to the mystery villains Frieza. Yeah. All right. And for anybody watching, the book on the left is the accepted first appearance for most of these characters. And then the book on the right is a book. reference point for blood, yeah, for blood hunt as we come up to it. In case you've been watching, uh, you're wondering why, like too much Dracula. I know Dracula is first appearance, you know, if you want to go back to Stoke. Did you say you like in the Judgment Marvel Day? universe? Let's just give him Tomb of Dracula one for fun. Jack, did you say you like Judgment Day? I like Judgment Day. Oh, I was agreeing with a lot of your stuff, and then you just fell off. Okay, <laughs> next I, up. I, and then you I like Kieran Gillen a lot, but I also am willing to spend the the money to buy all the like tie-ins because he wrote all books. Them. Yeah, yeah, like I get I get why that's not for everybody. Jack's a Marvel guy, <laughs> yeah, big time. Well, you could be a Marvel guy and not like to fucking throw money. No, I know, but he's yeah, no, all in on the like. I just I Kieran Gillen's one of my favorite writers. That's why I was so bought in because he has a really high floor. But if he's not your cup of tea, yeah, that event probably would not be for you. Yeah, but we are getting a pretty cool cover, at least for Black Panther and the Vampire. So I'm I'm really pumped about this series for one reason, and that's the artist Farad Karami. He drew uh, two recent issues of Daredevil, and he absolutely crushed. Like I was, like I thought this the current Daredevil series kind of sucks, um, yeah. but I was blown mm-hmm. away by how good the art is. And like he drew, this might be the best that She Hulk has ever looked in a comic, um, and that's like that's saying something. Yeah, you know what I mean. Fair. But, mm. Like she looked at like if you can pull up if you just type Farag Karami. Uh, she Hulk, Pete. If you can pull up any image, like he's a really good artist, and I'm really excited to see what he does oh, with. You guys uh... see that? <laughs> what was it? Uh, uh. Well, you guys um, can keep talking while I try. I can yeah, find it. So, so this series is going to be to explain what it's about. Basically, in the main Blood Hunt book, T'Challa gets turned into a vampire. Um, yeah, like no, that's going to happen. It's right there. Yeah. So this is going to be all about him now as a vampire kind of reconciling his like bloodthirst with his duty to be like a guardian of Wakanda and then like a servant of the goddess best. Um, So like, it's an interesting motivation, you know, but I'm mainly here for the art on this book because I I think I don't even know the writer. I've never read anything they've written before, but I'm, I'm pumped for more Karami art. 
also too it's good to like i think that's where you can introduce people to new writers and give them a shot is when you're doing yeah. you know i mean sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't all right pete what's in pete do i need to flip i want to see we'll if talk. i can put this in here i got we'll one. come back and check it later why don't we just flip to the next one so we're not having dead yeah, yeah. air in the middle of a... yeah. okay oh. yeah. all right so scarlet, witch, so scarlet witch is going to have a pretty big role in blood hunt and that that kind of informs who i think the ultimate villain is uh they keep talking about like the uh dark force being a huge part of like what's happening in blood hunt uh, right. that's like what's happening with blackout um and all this other stuff and in a recent series she absorbed the dark hold and like has it like it's in, yeah. it's inside of her so like they in the images Ooh. that they've already revealed for the first issue of blood hunt uh she's like fighting blackout uh we oh, know yeah, she's, I was say, she's like the inciting incident here right? yeah or she's 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 the first responder to the inciting incident um and we already know that all the Avengers are going to be a big part of Blood Hunt because all the characters from uh, Jed McKay's ongoings are going to be really heavily involved. Um, and because there's so much like mystical elements involved, she I think she's going to play a big role. And she's been featured in all the variants, all the like promotional material. I don't think they're doing that for no reason. Here, here's a here's She Hulk from uh, from Daredevil. Yeah, from Karami's run. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a, yeah, I gotta catch up on my Daredevil. I'm yeah. a Daredevil it's, sympathizer, but uh, yeah, hi. Yeah. Zdarsky's run was excellent. Uh, a little too long, but excellent. Um, the current run, I was unimpressed. Yeah, I think it's hard to coming off of Zdarsky's run. Yeah, to follow yeah. the next guy. We All got right, another character. Up. Hunter's Moon. Okay. Ugh. All right, so what about vampires in the series, like they're part of the, the midnight mission. Yeah, so vampires have been a big part of the ongoing Moon Knight series. Um, there is one interesting villain where they basically turn being a vampire into like a pyramid scheme almost. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, it, like, like it was very fun, like tongue in cheek, like it wasn't taking itself super seriously, but yeah. it, was done, it was done very you well. Two people, and then they, <laughs> yeah, um. So Hunter's Moon is he's the uh, another fist of Khonshu. Um, and basically this, he's like the one who got indoctrinated properly and like knows the like can control the powers while Mark Spector can't. And yeah. he got turned into a fist of Khonshu because a bunch of vampires killed uh his wife and left him for dead. So like he's like ready to fucking murk some vampires. So I gave a big sigh, and this is this is why. I actually dig this character. I think this character. And I put and just quickly. I put issue three, even though he does show up in issue yeah. one. So it's yeah, I like here. I one. I like I it just too. To put three here for three is first in costume, which is yeah, yeah exactly what we yeah. care about. But but here, but this is the problem that I have with him. He shouldn't be in this. He should be in the Moon Knight series instead of Shroud. Like this is like he is a good villain to be, and I get why they're gonna cross, but like. Well, he's not a villain. He's on the this. He's in the Midnight Mission now. He's one of the. Well, and that guy's carrying it out. Well, I'm saying is like he's a good villain. Like he's a good villain. You know what I mean? Like if they left him as how about villain, antagonist? So... No, make the bitch a villain. Well, he wants him to be a villain because he likes him yeah, as yeah. a villain. Is what yeah, he's yeah, trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Marvel never lets right villains now. stay villains. Ugh. If they're popular, it's and all right. Why, maybe like, he'll, be, he'll turn eventually. <clears throat> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually, neither does DC. Yeah, so well, fair enough. Um, um, but yeah, Hunter's Moon, he's a Jed McKay written and created character. Jed McKay's featuring all of his favorite toys uh, heavily yeah, in this set that he's creating. He's he's a lot like Bendis. Like, you know, Bendis had his favorite toys that he brought to every series and every event. Um, yeah. McKay is the same way. Yeah. Bendis I mean, liked to write everybody the same way, though. Didn't matter yeah. what toy it was. Yeah, but the way he wrote them was great, so I was okay with it. They all talk the same. Everybody's snarky as shit. Yeah. Wait a second. Not everybody's that snarky. Yeah, but they were just always doing it like an Aaron Sorkin impression, and I love Aaron Sorkin, so I was like, dial me in. Right, like almost all these books are tie-ins. To, to yeah, they, they're all tie-ins. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. So we're Sorry if we didn't make that clear. Yeah. Um, 
So it's been very explicitly like they've said that Strange gets turned into a vampire. Uh, so that's going to be like a huge part of like that, like what happens when the Sorcerer Supreme is like on the bad guy side and a vampire. Um, so this book's going to be exploring that and basically Clea and Wong's efforts to fight him. Um, it's it's also interesting because his brother is a very famous vampire in the Marvel Universe, uh, Victor Strange, Victor Strange. Uh, who's been showing up in the uh, Crypt of Shadows one shots. And in the most recent one, he escaped the Crypt of Shadows and was like oh, clearly going to do figure, something evil. Uh, to Doctor Strange, so my guess is he'll be the vampire. Exactly, Pete. He'll be the vampire that uh, turns Doctor Strange. Um, That's what like and, Strange Ten, I think, from like the nineties run. I yeah, this is his first. So, Bry, you're just repeating what we're saying in chat to chat while we're talking to chat. So, good job on that one. This is <laughs> the, this is the thing. He's like nothing. He's an idiot. Doctor Strange. This is like I, I agree with Toy Hunter here, um, and this is the book that I think I'm just like. I'm not buying this one. I don't care. Like, that doesn't even sound good. I don't care about Victor Strange. I don't care about Wong. I don't care about Doctor Strange. Like, this is the one you can't like Wong buy. in the movies. Okay. I, I, can see I, don't care. This, I can see this not being like, like, I don't think you need to buy this book. No, uh, you don't as a tie in. But I just, I really like Jed McKay and him and uh, Pasquale Ferry, or however you say his name, have been doing a really right. good book. Uh, so. I don't I mean, think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> Very famous. No, I, but here, but here's, the, here's what I'm going to say about this it, is like what I like. And I guess we were talking about earlier with this series was that cause they do the main line and do the time, like all the other series that we mentioned, you could pick and choose your favorite characters or a character you want to find out about. And it doesn't affect the storyline. So you could grab those little bit, like, yeah, we're not we're not you going can. with this. I we're think not the going difference, with strange, but... the difference I think here is that the writer of the main event also yeah. writes this issue. Yeah. So yeah. that could yeah, happen. Yeah, but it's gonna change the Marvel it. universe forever. The they effect. all change the Marvel universe. It's, it's, it's gonna have an effect on everything. Yeah, I mean they're lousy with crossovers, but like I've I have a lot of faith in this writer because I've consistently liked what he's put out there. Well, you mentioned it before. Explain this laser sword to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. All right. So, in a recent team up with Blade, Miles got a new costume. Uh, that he got a vampire hunter costume. So, I imagine that will show up again. in here. Yep. Um, I grabbed I don't it. Know, the sometimes, sometimes people spend money on the first appearances of new costumes for Spider-Man. I don't know. Like, I think there might be a quick a lot of times you mean. Is yes. it like an yeah, overcoat? Is it, is it like a coat? Um, but anyway, yeah, so I don't yeah, love so this look, but this is still better than that weird Terry. hoodie he was wearing for a while. Yeah. Wait a minute, Terry, you're calling Terry. I, I everyone, he's everyone, Doctor Straight. Yeah, okay, good job, Terry. All right, good job. Okay. Um, so in the most recent series, they've been exploring new things he can do with his venom power. So instead of just like little like thing venom thing. punching, he can now like basically manifest it into an energy sword. Um like so like, it just, yeah, it's exactly like that. It just looks really cool. Um, so in the solicitations for I think Blood Hunt 3, they basically tell us that Miles is also oh, gonna get turned into a vampire. Um so this book is going to be kind of exploring how that plays out, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, I think it'll depend on how successful the main book convinces me. Um, but I've enjoyed that that book enough that I'm willing to buy it either way. I don't, Toy Hunter, I don't, like, if you're, like, for Annihilation, you didn't have to read the tie-ins. You didn't have to read the tie-ins for a lot of the You didn't have to, series. but it helped. Yeah, but what I'm saying is he's like you you won't get certain characters you had to buy the main title to get the you you a lot of them you didn't have to do that. Like if that's the that Civil like War. I love that style of crossover. What? Like like Civil War, I don't think you like yeah, you, you didn't have read, to. Yeah, you didn't need any of the tie-ins. Uh, no, you know, could have just read issue one through six and you got yeah, yeah, Civil same War with Secret Story. Invasion, same with Siege. Yeah. Yeah. Um Siege I mean, sucked. Yeah. yeah. 
Siege. I like Siege, but um, Siege was better than Fear itself. Well, that's a low standard. Um, just saying. Hey, Terry, I get it. I'm just trying to have you help Bry out to figure out how to be funny in the chat because you are. Um, yeah. My hope is that they can make it a truly self-contained, but if it's not, that will suck because it becomes too big a story to tell across too many books unless you're Jonathan Hickman and you can do like Secret Wars and no one's done anything like but that's Secret. I mean that's yeah I mean you would you need to give him that like that's his writing style is right yeah exactly yeah, was, 80 thousand books like just to make though. the biggest world well you say that but then you see east to west and you go back and read that master and it was a masterpiece so like no I know yeah. what you're saying but I'm just saying I don't want Secret Wars again because goddamn yeah. that was a lot of books I had to buy I mean and then to answer their the most recent comment I mean I don't think you need to know how he got the god. I don't think you need to have read Thanos Quest to appreciate the Infinity Gauntlet story. You did it. Oh, the Thanos Quest was so cool. <laughs> Like I think it added it added more context, and like those books were really good. But yeah. like, not everything needed to be explained. To be like, well, how did he get the gauntlet? Who built the gauntlet? Like, who cares? Let's just see what happens now that he has it. Fair, fair. All right, I, I have a, I have a question before we oh. move on. Oh, with no, the Spider-Man, right. Spider-Man and the Bullet. Uh, well, guys. it has to do with a couple of characters that you've mentioned before now. So, Miles is going to be a vampire. Doctor Strange is going to be a vampire, and somebody else that you said was going to be a vampire. Black Panther. Black yeah, Panther, yeah, right? So, like, it. are these like permanent changes that we're making to the character? No, of course not. Of course so, not. So, okay, so if somebody becomes a vampire, it's reversible. So. Yeah, well, so there will be sort of yes. There's there's a spell in the comics called Got the it. Montesi formula that can eliminate va like vampirism. Got it, vampirism. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, it's just like a, it's a. It's in the dark hold. That's all you need to know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's why Scarlet Witch and they've been really aping up the magic element of vampires in this. So no that more I think it's going to be a big control. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. No more vampire. Right. Mm -hmm. She's she's there. She the dark hold yep. is in her as it entered her as Jack said. So she can mm -hmm. no more vampire now. Yes. <laughs> For those people that don't know the reference, she at one point said no more mutants, and then all the mutants greatest day in Marvel died. Oh god, I love uh, House of X or House of M. Was so good. Fair. I get it. Fair, fair, Hunter. Fair, fair, fair. I get. Right, I think our last. Well, no, no, not not our last, but an interesting group because this is not a character, but this is like a little. Uh, Offshoot, uh, but uh, yeah, is that cloak? Yeah, yeah. So cloak. So, uh, yeah. so what you call it? Uh, so cloak oh, goes man. missing. Cloak is another dark force user. So another hint yeah. that the dark force is going to be a big part of this. And so dagger has like essentially over the course of this series creates a team. Uh, this is like a backdoor pilot for some, you know. Upcom like upcoming mini series they have basically it's going to be an anthology series and every issue is going to feature part of forming this new super vampire hunting team it's the same way that in secret invasion they had a bunch of books with the uh scroll kill crew and that was a yep. backdoor pilot that, for a hey, scroll kill crew mini series yeah skull crew crew slayers hey uh terry you messed up your numbers and we got you because it's not nine it's uh nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen eighteen 18. Thank you very much. What are you talking about? Because he's counting every character. Well, this book has got like six characters in it. It does. So said, 16. Yeah. 16. But this awesome. is our slide nine, I think. Yeah. Well, well it's I'm, actually slide 11, but I had sorry. extras in there. Go ahead. I'm going to. I like the anthologies. Um, I like the talent that yeah, they're these are always fun. It. These the, the anthologies like, are always good. Yeah. And I like Elza Bloodstone oh. a lot. So I'm definitely going to buy uh, anything with her in it because even though she's was the most popular part of phase five. Marvel still won't do anything with her. I don't get it, but whatever. And you got Kate Bishop in her, yep. in her issue as well. Can't hurt. Is that, is that uh werewolf by night or is that uh no, man so that's man wolf. So one of the story, okay. it's going to be a team up story between man wolf and J Jonah Jameson, his dad. I can't wait. It's going to be so weird. I can wait, but I'll, I'll still read it. <laughs> wait, so wait. that's dagger. Hawkeye, and who's the man wolf. who's the white wolf? And That's man, the white man wolf, wolf. man wolf. Yeah. Oh, so then on the other side, it's Bloodstone, Kate Bishop, and that's Hulk. Hulk. Uh, uh, totally awesome Hulk. Amadeus Cho. Oh, Amadeus Cho. Yeah. 
Amadeus. 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 Rock me, Amadeus. Yeah, that's the really unfortunate part uh, that we have to support the porn tracer. Um, <laughs> well, I don't think the these what? are from. Well, I don't think these are from porn. Well, if they're not from porn, then he just copied and pasted some other crappy artwork that he did. Stupid fat. It could be, but I like how now they're <laughs> looking at Elsa and Ooh. Hawkeye. They both have the same hip thrust. Apparently, out Greg Nor apparently Greg Land copies porn onto magazines. Oh, oh he does. Yeah. And he and he actually steals from other artists. He full on like copy pasted an alien cover from another artist. And the guy was like, "Hey, can you not? I'm like struggling to pay rent." Oh, like, wow, chasing nice. Amy. He's a full on tracer. You tracer. Yeah, that's nice of him. All right, our last character is your big bad idea. Seven, seven, okay, I don't so know this if you want me my... to show it, or you want yeah. to preface it before I show okay. it. Yeah. All right, I'll Here preface it really quick. So in go. all the solicitations, Marvel has been like really cagey about who the true like big bad guy is. Do, 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 do. When I was going through all of the press material that they were putting out and all of Jed McKay's interviews, they had an article where they listed the most important vampires in the Marvel universe. And on that list was Victor. this deep cut character that I think could be the big bad guy. Is it the most famous Victor? No, it is not. No. It's even more famous than that. You you are right with the letter though. Yes, it is, the, it is the originator of all vampires in the Marvel universe. And I found the most awful picture we can display him with because that's what he looks like. <laughs> oh, darn it! This is the guy that created all vampires in the Marvel universe. He read from the Dark Hole and got really really messed up by it. And then that basically allowed him to turn Dracula, and he was the first big vampire bad guy. Um, Jed McKay loves deep cut characters. He brought back like the Shroud. Wow. He brought yeah, back uh, a totally random character um, for uh, Iron Cat, who first appeared in like Spectacular Spider-Man Annual. Oh, wait, even Eight Ball being part of the Midnight yeah, exactly. Man was kind of a weird little addition. Hundred percent Ken Cosmic One. Yeah, we totally could. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking... Oh, he brought back uh, Kaecilius, like, who hadn't okay. been in a comic in like 60 years for Death of Doctor Strange. Um, so like, he loves deep cut characters. He knows the lore of vampires in the Marvel Universe. I think this could be the bad guy. First appearance, Bizarre Adventures, number... Uh, Was it 33? Yeah, number 33. Yeah, it's a really tough book to find in... Uh, yeah. And it's also and I it's threw a, this vampire uh, in this vampire book up because this is a weird ass book that you go out and find too that just has like an encyclopedia of all the vampires in the Marvel. It's got to be him first appearance. And he first is cover, in it. right. Verna Verne is in that. At least I'm the cover. Book. So first cover, first appearance for sure. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Another one that's got a photo cover doesn't count. Gorilla ish. Count. Photo cover yeah. doesn't count. Bizarre Adventures is a. Um... What you would call it? Uh, what's the name? It's a magazine style book. So like it's a lot. Oh of people... yeah, 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 yeah. The, those. Uh... So those are way harder to find. I don't have enough of that back hair yet. AOA. I did, uh... <laughs> Not enough of that back hair. So yeah, what so that's part? the Blood Hunt event and uh, the top ten characters that at least I'm looking at for for this. There, there's a few things you mentioned, so I'll give you some free time to, to, to also with these related things that you. You mentioned some of this stuff while we were going through it with uh, like the Jed McKay doing the, the Avengers title for a bit and then even Blade's run that ended. And yeah, I think that Vampire Nation book also ties in with your uh, big bad theory. Yeah. So um, in Avengers, basically, Dracula got the nation of Russia to give him control of the Chernobyl exclusion zone because um, they were like, well, we don't care about it. It's like poisonous land. No one can live there. It turns right. out that vampires can are unaffected by the radiation, and so they create. Oops, I want to change that. There we go. And they create the vampire kingdom. And then when Null, uh, the symbiote god, invaded, the vampires actually helped out, and they used that to get UN recognition. But the only way that they could get that was if Blade was the sheriff. So that's what that Blade Vampire Nation one shot is about. It's him being the sheriff and trying to uncover this plot to assassinate Dracula. 
Um, and it turns out that there's really deep unrest in the vampire nation. People aren't happy with Dracula's rule. Um, and I'm thinking that that's where there's room for someone to lead an uprising. And that's going to kind of set up the status quo for this blood hunt event. Yeah, sounds about right. Fair. V very, very fair. Yeah, so like uh, we could get Blackout because Blackout was, as I was saying, like Lilith's like little peon that she put up there looking like. Well, she get she like the mother of demons. I mean, it's yeah, possible. Mother. See, I thought we could really look really more heavily into the vampire lore than the. Yeah, demon. but once you start talking about Darkhold, I mean, you get like that's where that starts linking in. You know what I mean? I know. I mean, there's possibilities, sure. I think it's the other. Um... The other guy with that name, the other blackout, the one that looks like an electro ripoff. I think that's the, the one. Who's guy? Show up. What? The original blackout guy? Yeah. William the one with the, like, yeah. I'm, that's who I thought it was. I could be wrong. That's who I thought it was. Well, because this vampire does have, he does like, he turns the lights out. Like, a, of, so he does oh. have like some sort of dark power. When he showed up okay. in Ghost Rider 2, that's like his secondary thing. As a vampire, he could also turn out lights in Forest Hills. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. So that's, yeah, I mean, yeah, so that's kind of the status quo that Blood Hunt is playing with. I mean, but you're too. If you're saying it's that deep, deep, you you could be right. It could be other. I know whatever. I was just thinking it could be because it links into like the well, like, and the the War of the Vampires and Avengers that was like thirteen. I was, I was trying to look up. I think it was what thirteen to eighteen or seventeen or yeah, it was something like that. It was some run like that. If you guys remember, everybody liked the one in twenty-five variant with Colonel. I can't think of his uh, name. It's not Colonel Sanders. Uh, uh, the Shadow Colonel. Yeah, he the Shadow Colonel. He's in the back. He looks like Darth Vader. Yeah, who's actually Zarus, who is the son of Dracula, who first appeared in Age of Heroes, Dracula, number yeah, one. Yeah, and then he he had like a whole little run with the X Men, with the X Men yeah. and the the vampire shit. It was Zarus, and he was trying to take control of the vampires and uprising on his dad. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be, like, if you're also doing, like, if they're doing all these character mini spinoffs, you're, there. it's not just, there's going to be a bunch of other characters that show up to the, oh, the yeah, sure. versions of it, you know yeah, what I mean? Because I mean, you got to have roadblocks and stops and everything else in the middle yeah. of the way or whatever, so like. And that's every Marvel event, like, they're always... Yeah. Well, that's just how it goes. Movies that are good, and and then they're like tie-ins that still suck. Like <laughs> Civil War is a great event, but like, have you read some of the like Runaways Young Avenger tie-ins? Like, I love those characters, and those books suck. Remember when they did for Civil War? They did the what was it? The Journal, the Journal of Civil oh, War. Yeah. Where uh, it was uh, what's his name? Frontline. Frontline. Yeah, yeah, front front oh, for that, front and World War Hulk, and for Secret Invasion, because Bendis was like a huge journalism head. <laughs> And like always push them. <laughs> glob. <laughs> yeah, Glob. Be a funny oh my god, a Glob Herman vampire. He'd be unstoppable. That'd be... <laughs> Where are his teeth? I don't know. <laughs> I can just see his eyes. He just rolls out of his he rolls out of his healthy. band down by the river and he's like, hey guys. <laughs> yeah. Civil oh, War two yeah, sucked. Civil War two sucked. No. Doubt that uh, again, because it it came out of a desire to have a summer event to have something to tie into Captain America Civil War. Right. It, it was like, guys, sad. guys, I just watched this movie. It's called Minority Report. What do you say yes, we do exactly. that? <laughs> Precogs. Yeah. That's the next big thing. Also, why does Tony always have to lead the superhero Civil War? It's like, don't you think after yeah, yeah, one, the first just one been like, I'm going to set this one out. Right. Just blame Downey. Blame Robert, Robert Downey Jr. He made him too popular. That's well, true. I mean, like, they also did that A versus X thing that was complete trash, too. I mean, like, they've had... Oh, oh that thing was rough. Well, that was because they tried to have all the Marvel architects create, like, a jam event. And it's, like, five... Like, Matt Fraction, Ed Brubaker, Jonathan Hickman, Brian Michael Bendis, that's, that's Jason Aaron. They're all yeah. great writers. They're all very different writers. Trying to get yeah. all of them to create one event with yeah, all no. of the Avengers and all of the X Men. One cook in the kitchen. Like it's a tall order. Yeah. There, I mean, look, let that's them probably next the time we have they Jack have. on. We should just rank all the like block summer like crossovers or whatever. Cause like it's just, I mean, there are some like. I think he takes it as a compliment, AOA. Oh, 100%. 100%. I'm sure yes. he does. <laughs> yes. Like, <laughs> 
Th yeah. That's why I'm excited to come on here. This is literally the only place on earth where all of that knowledge has any use at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's fun. <laughs> why do you think we're here? <laughs> right. I know, but yeah, I mean, that's just, it's just like, it's so crazy to like, because I know we get, I can know people like knock off, like a lot of people I think feel like Toy Hunter where they're like, oh man, the series. And you, and you do have, what was it? Axis? Remember Axis? Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, there are certain. There are certain. No, things. but the, there was a run there where it was like really good. It was so good. Like they had it. And, it, and okay, if you want to give me what? Siege, I'll give you Siege. But then, like after Siege, well, Siege had only four issues. Oh, yeah. So that's I mean, why I don't have, I don't hold a lot against Siege. It was well, no, but he had a lot of tie-ins. It was a like, lot of tie. Yes, a lot of tie-ins for sure. Starting but. with secret, starting with secret war, like the two thousand, uh, like secret war event, Marvel just like crushed it. They had yeah. Avengers disassembled. They had World War Hulk and Planet World Hulk. Hulk. They World had Hulk, Siege, yeah. Civil War, Siege even the underrated war. stuff like Chaos War was good. I mean, Chaos Marvel, War was good. Yeah, yeah. Marvel, Marvel, Chaos God, War was yeah, good because it was actually yeah, kind of fun. Marvel Cosmic was Original cooking Sin. on all cylinders. Original uh, yeah, Sin was Anali, starting to be the Anali, fall Anali, off Anali, though. Conquest. Yeah, I mean, I think Fear Itself was when you started to see it. Fear Itself was a cool Fear concept, itself. but like, yeah, Fraction, did not hit. Fraction just didn't have it with that, and his Thor yeah. run was it, pretty because it, it came too much like, hey, let's give hammers and things to everybody. Yeah, you get a hammer, and you get a hammer. Let's see what he looks like with a hammer. But no. Fear didn't Fear Itself come right after Siege? No, it was uh, the Heroic Age. Then, oh, all right, and Heroic Age was kind of just. Heroic Age was vanilla shit. That was just kind like, of a, a refresh. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, it really was, like, it was like, okay, we've yeah. we've since wrapped up the story that we started in Civil War. Let's like we've gone back. To <laughs> yeah, we've gone through disassembled. We killed everybody, and now let's yeah. bring things back. Yeah, I mean, Civil exactly. War took a little bit to get out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all the stuff. But like, you'd have this main. Maybe that's part of it too. When you think about it, like Civil War really had like three spinoff events towards it, right? And then yeah. you had with Annihilation, you can say what you want about Annihilation. I guess you can't call War Kings in that in that realm, but like you had a split off where there was versions of understanding space and 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 that type of stuff. And like you had the street level thing with Shadowlands, which was really dope. But like if you get into it now that like that's where I just have hope for this series, is like it seems like they're going to I know you're saying all the spinoffs with like Siege and everything else, but like if you look at the basics of it, you have Civil War, you have Annihilation, you know, you have uh, Shadowland, and then you have everything else that Secret Wars, but you have everything else that adds into there. And is, yeah, right. Like Toy Hunter says, like, well, shit, Civil War really isn't what 12 books and then like uh, t 10 part mini series split offs of each one because. Civil War doesn't really end till the Heroic Age because you have all the disassembling yeah. and all the other shit. But I actually like that because it, it keeps, even though event is over, they're not rebooting and starting at number one. I mean, they did. They did. I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying they physically didn't renumber the book. I'm saying they didn't re reboot the storyline. They continued. Yeah. There was. What did I walk back into? What are you guys no. debating? Well, so it's it and part of the problem there is that Marvel used to be much more writer driven, and now it's much more editor driven. Like in those days, you had the Marvel architects; those five guys, they basically controlled the the story of the Marvel universe. Bendis, especially for like that ten year period, Bendis was Marvel's yeah. framework. Um, and then now it's much more editor driven. And that means you get books canceled. You don't get super long, extensive runs. Like we'll never see like an Ed Brubaker, or Captain America saga again, because they'll just never give a writer. Yeah, that's true. That long a stretch on a title anymore. We absolutely know that because of what they did with Hickman. Yeah. Like Hickman yeah. and the X-Men is a perfect example because that is how <clears throat> for a while from that 2006 era on where you started getting those good storyline event breakoffs that would proceed for three or four years like that's exactly what he was doing with house of x and house of m or whatever and the marauder playing into and all, like that's how it was an x or I'm sorry yeah. and that's how it all played and then the minute they were like yo dude like we ain't gonna give you any more money and you gotta figure this out it was like wow i don't dude, even know what's that i think at this point it's how long it was, they been? wanted him to start launching and developing uh the the new ultimate line that's that's what it was yeah fair enough because they because he even said like they marvel want to be working on way bigger things than just an ongoing X-Men book. But I, I think it could have, 
I'll be honest. Like, I think it, like, look at the reception on 97. There's still this like huge want from a very large community, excluding dub for X-Men content, good <laughs> X-Men content. Um, he, this guy. For him, he hates it when there's good X-Men content, but like, <laughs> but there there isn't is, much. there's tons. Just because well, I think the you problem gave us one example. X Men ninety seven. No, that's not no. And I'm also, just, let's be half fair. the stuff we're storylines we're, we're loving X Men ninety seven because it's calling back to things we we're familiar with. No, but, but it's so it's no way. But Civil but the Civil War split off. X Men Civil War split off was one of the better miniseries that came out of that one. You have to consider War War of uh uh the Realm of War and uh whatever that was it that was but the 100%. Realm of Kings and that's that was Realm of Kings. Yeah. And, uh, that's when Abnett and Lanning Abnett and Lanning basically wrote every Marvel cosmic. Oh, book. and I was a big fan of that time. And that them. was all X Men stuff there. So like it's not like I that. Like House X and cosmic Power book. X were great things. So was Marauders. At like that yeah. whole lineup of everything was going on there was good. So like yeah, when you produce a lot of stuff. Some of it's shit. I'll give you that. But like, there was a lot of good, and it wasn't that long ago when they were doing it. I would uh, honestly so, say it was majority good until Fall of X. Like, I think once Hickman yeah. left, it started to decline, but it was still more good than bad. And since uh, that most recent health, it it's it's been like they're just wrapping up storylines. They're just like fixing. But they could have done it in they could have done it in one month, and they've well, extended yeah. it to almost a year. Or yeah, they, they dragged just, it out. They or they could have just it. not told those stories because they already decided they weren't that interesting enough. Yeah, you're not moving forward with it. We don't need to hear that story. It, Let know? it go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I still really don't understand the X-Trader. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really flesh that out too much. Oh, yeah, shoot. I mean, so... but that, like, you, you say, like, you know, there's going to be crap and it, it would, we have so much out there, but that's my whole issue with the X-Men. Is that they just make up brand? They make oh, this guy you can see through his skin, and he is a mutant. So they just keep making random new mutants. Well, that's and not more no. More. We're and so they keep around they keep moking, making more and more stuff. Okay, and they don't focus on like House of M, good stuff. Age of Apocalypse, good Hold stuff. On. Like you know, like and then you get let's just make that's, random mutants. That's and there's not, so that's, many of them okay. out there, so there's a lot of crap. That's that's not how that works. What it is is when you the have somebody. Happens. When you have somebody taking a directional change and they start to write for a while, then they add in a character or something else to help the story go along. Okay, that's what they do. And sometimes it goes right, sometimes it goes wrong. And sometimes you're Grant Morris and all you're doing is creating fucking 100 new characters every book. Like, I get that. But it's not... There is a lot of characters, but they're not... Yeah, like Well, well then how X, about the you do X all that? How about you do all that? He's like, oh, your character Zorn. You know, we don't like that. Let's. How about we make him somebody bigger? Let's. How about you put Magneto in there? What? Well, I mean, like, yeah, when you have when, now. Okay, Why? but here's, but here's a good example. Name. Yeah. Okay, but that's when a new writer comes. That's what I'm in. saying. Editors can come in. Yeah, and kind editors of come in to screw it up. What? What? Ha like, we talked about it earlier when you looked at the storyline of X Men vs Wolverine. Really, not a book I wanted to pick up. Right, Jack. I'm doubting when you saw that book on the shelf. You're like, damn. Yeah, I didn't want to that, get. Uh, that's yeah, a book. Fire. Fire. But you start reading that volume one, and you're like. Oh, I like what was it? Book one or two? iBoy comes out. Remember when iBoy came out? You're like, wait, okay, I get it, dude. Where everybody, yeah. hey, you're gonna pick up some guy, he's got 80,000 fucking eyes, just like dumb. What stupid ass power? And that guy turned, like, I know you're making fun of Glob, but like, it, it's you can't explain in words. I mean, Gold Balls you, is another great example. Yeah, gold, gold Balls, Gold Balls went from like, dude, just poops gold balls to he's the secret to eternal life he's one of he's one of the five key elements that we need which, which is funny like it's not this supposed to be like comics yeah, only yeah. In comics it's not supposed to be a serious a serious yeah. thing either yeah. <laughs> gold balls this but that's it, like without gold balls yeah. yeah sometimes they throw in characters and it's not <laughs> it's supposed to be hey remember you're reading a fucking comic yes and yeah. i get that so like that's kind of you can say what you want, but that's kind of the best part of X Men sometimes. Like weird ass characters that they put in there, which you absolutely hate in the beginning, and you're like, oh wait, they're fucking trolling us to tell us don't take this shit too seriously because it's yeah. just something. Like I get it if you're an, if you're like independence the only way to go, or you're a hardline DC. I'm gonna listen to the same fucking story for a hundred plus years. Cool, you're like that. It's just not gonna be your style. But along those lines where you respect the history of DC comics or that like 
yeah, great. We're going to have a new number one in Independence, and it's going to be really story based, even though it's just regurgitated stuff that they've done in their 10 other titles. You have to respect the fact that X Men does put in that little, I guess, Easter egg for X Men fans, which is like, yeah, eyes, gold balls, glob, like droop, like droop. Come on, dude. Droop. I mean, that's dude, real- dude, how about how about how about they took what was the name of the kid that they put in the alien race that sucks people's heads? I mean, he was really smart. The brood, brood, the brood. Remember, they put brood, brood in a comic, brood, like, yeah. dude, yeah, yeah they brood, put brood yeah. in. Like, if you talk like to the normal person that doesn't read it, I get it. it but it's also just like Renovision, it's cool as shit, but it just might not be for you, dude. Like, <laughs> and that's okay. Wait, we're okay with together that. there. But we're okay with that. Like and that's it, it says everything about the brilliance of the mutant concept that like a guy can have like metal claws and a healing factor or can be a gelatinous blob with eyes and they have the same <laughs> origin. Like it shows you just how flexible the mutant idea is. It's amazing. That's what I'm telling you. Like when you get into it, like it like from the from the outside looking in, Dub, I can see what you're saying because I've said, like I've said it before, like why, like if you go back into Tack, it I was or maybe it was on MCM when we used to run MCM. I was like, dude, Marauders is stupid, like pirates, like what are we doing here? And I then it was it. like, it was like, wait a minute, the writing's like super yeah, good. Yeah, that, that was like, my favorite one. I was it's like, not oh, super shit, serious. Like you, like you got Katie Pride on a fucking Katie pirate ship. Literally going like, what's she going to do next? R didn't we already see this with Nightcrawler at one point? And sure as shit, the next book, R there she is, Pirate Pride. Like, dude, it's hilarious. And like, if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, that's okay. Like, but like, I think that's sometimes where, you know, it's, I don't know. I think it's fun. And I, I and I hope that, and that's where I'm saying like this bloodline, Sounds ridiculous with a lot of shit. Like there is a lot of shit in Bloodline that just sounds absolutely Blood absurd. Hunt. What? Blood, Blood Hunt. Hunt. Blood Don't Hunt. confuse Sorry, it with WWE. Blood. I don't think it's. Well, Bloodline's the Blood. Bloodline's what's his name's daughter, but like, uh, isn't she? Is that the name? Of the yeah, yeah, no, you had it. Yeah. Yeah. That's all for Roman Reigns. And, uh, Bloodline. <sighs> <laughs> Anyways, Blood Hunt it sounds like it's got elements of that, and that's I think as. If you're a Marvel fan, that's what you're looking for. It's not so much about the characters. It's not so much about how many eyes or if the guy's shooting golden turd nuggets out. Like that's so if not you're a Marvel it. fan, you're looking for the Easter eggs they give you, and it's not about the characters. No, no, no. That's not the Easter eggs. It's the writing. Like when they looking show you the form. Looking gold balls ass. Yeah. Much it's, like, it's Like Sobolski, as much as I don't like him, had a really good quote, which is, every story that we should tell should only be able to happen in the Marvel universe. And like the idea that like, it is all the world outside your door. It's all like connected and actually works when they do that. Right. It's, it's such a cool story. It's just other times there are moments where it's like, I'm 50. And then in the next page, it's like, I'm 30 or like in the next comic, they're saying something completely different. You're like, okay, now I'm starting to lose the connection. So I'm hoping that blood, that blood hunt is more along the lines of just like, it feels like it's important and like it's really representing all these characters. Yeah. And yes, you're right, Bri J. That that is her. And here th- thank you. Here here's another thing that's kind of interesting too. Like when you when uh, Pete mentioned X Factor before, and maybe this is an easier way to explain it. They at one time tried to do X Factor investigation because they needed popular characters. They put in Havoc, Polaris, and they didn't understand why that shit didn't work out where you have Layla Miller who says she knows things is like 12 and then somehow turns to be 30 or 40 and marries multiple man. Like, and how that worked. Like, because it was a mess. Like, think about it. Like, you have strong guys. I was trying not to get into that part of it. <laughs> oh, but that but that's story from the more dicier bits. No, 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 the... no, no. But that storyline where they do, and then she does the back and forth future thing is it makes yeah, sense. Well, they but... go into the future, and well, do you yes, remember when? They remember when he was a priest? They, they're in Bishop's future where they're priest, but he wasn't in the internment yeah, camps, yeah, yeah. and yeah, but like they made it make all sense. So like they did stuff, and you're like, this is wild. You have a 14 year old gold girl saying, "I know things," and like there seems like that. there's something weird going on. Or I know stuff and something weird going on, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, because she went back to whatever. 
But like they have these big storylines where you can feel that something's going on. You don't know what it is. Some of it seems like it's going to be corny as shit, but then it all makes sense. And you're like, wow, dude, okay. You know, they just put a pieces of the puzzle together. And then they do shit like what they, they, they do events where like what's a A versus X where you're like, what the fuck does any of this mean? Like, what did A versus X mean? What did Fall of Mutants mean? Like, Fall of Mutants know, could have been done in one. Like, that's it. Like Layla Miller. I drink and I know things. That, well, they stole it from her, man. They really did. <laughs> but, like, that's the secret to act. Like, if you're too serious for comic books, like, yeah, you're, the X characters are never going to be for you. I mean, they do tell you, they do tell a serious message underneath them. I understand that. Yeah, I'm not you, trying you, you to. Utilizing the whole idea of Marvel comics to explain X Men, and that doesn't make sense. Oh, well, I'm just saying more. I I get. I understand comics. I love Marvel comics, and I mean, I love this character. That to me, it's the pro. Like my problem with X Men is not that they're comics, and you got to not take them seriously, or or they make characters for different reasons. I get all that. That's comic books. But I'm talking about every time they need to do something different, they make up a mutant for that, and then like all of a sudden, there's another. Thing in the X Men books. They don't See, do I, that I anymore. They don't that. do that. They don't do sex mocking a bit. Hey, let's take a mute to fix this storyline. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, that, that was they the origin. Do. That was the origin of House of M. It was Joe Quesada being like, "We have too many mutants. There's, there's a too mutant many. There's like, there's a, literally let's a dude get rid anything. of most of them." That was literally how House of M came into existence. That That's was awesome. supposed to be how Fall came too. But you have to remember, like some of the people. Like there's a, we gotta we gotta clean up some. There's guys. employees <laughs> too, right? So there's yeah. employees too, and sometimes employees go, "Look, I want to have a character in the X Men universe." They put it in the X Men universe, and when that person's not there anymore, people are like, "This character's dumb shit. Let's get rid of it." Like, we so don't like, need I, boom. We already got we already got Jubilee. We don't need boom boom. boom. boom, boom, boom need showed her? up in '97. Spoiler alert. I know uh, that's why I brought her up. Yeah. But um. But yeah, I mean, so that's it. And it's not as many, you don't, like, I think that's where Fall of X's problem came. I think a lot of us thought, like, okay, if you're going to do Fall of X, don't do... <sighs> the shitty part about No Room Reviews was they cut out, I think they didn't realize what characters were popular. So when they did No More Reviews... They didn't put the right 198 together. Yeah, they did not. <laughs> they didn't. They picked the right ones to keep. They didn't pick the right ones. Yeah. And then they, that, I think they took themselves too seriously at that point. Is the same thing like they did with X Factor, where they're putting Polaris and the Havoc in charge of stuff. They didn't. I don't think they realized like how popular the stuff would be with like um, when they did. Uh, what was the adult series, Jack, with uh, Bishop in it? When he was a detective. Oh, uh, District M. District M. Oh, yeah, man. I don't think I don't think they realized how big of a hit, a hit with fans that like that usually is the stuff. It's not typically the stuff in X Men that they're pushing does very well. Typically, the stuff that they are like, well, this probably is not going to work out, is the stuff that retains it. So, like, do I agree that stuff with X Men sucks? Yeah, some of it does, but it's usually the stuff that they're like, this is going to be a hit. All the kids are going to love this, and then they realize that the kids that are reading their books are fucking fifty year old men, and that it's not sitting as well with that. They just want the stupid shit they read as kids, where you get like Claremont doing dumb shit, or you get Jim Lee drawing fucking horrible covers on. X Men properties. What are you talking about horrible covers? And Jack said yes. Yeah. He's oh, an X Men fit. Yeah, yeah, and if we're if we're gonna be doing hot takes, uh, Pete knows that I believe this. Todd McFarlane, not a good artist. Oh, oh he's right. not good at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah you wouldn't. I already that. said that. I already said it earlier. So like, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was like, Transformers. Art. I was like, yeah, it looks like Ted uh, Ted McFarlane art. That wasn't a compliment, dude. That yeah, was not a compliment. Some of his stuff is a little cartoony. I will admit that. Dude. No, not just that, but he fills empty space with just drawing fucking lines everywhere. Like that's a fucking solution. Yeah, well, his run on ASM where Brock look where Eddie Brock looks like he's just like roided out in every page. I'm like, I don't like seeing all your small head. In you and like bone, like <laughs> draw a person, you yeah, weirdo. A shadow here. God, I'm not sure how much he wrote himself into a corner, uh, as much as they just didn't have an exit plan. No, but I don't know. Me. It was the That's issue, was not even left. The issue is that he left after yeah. Inferno, it stopped being he stopped being involved in telling the story. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, because I don't know if he has an end a lot of times. That's what I always wonder about Hickman. It's like, yeah, he can world build and tell you this. It'll, it'll come with these great concepts. But that's he why you need to Avengers. And you had like the, what were those? Uh, those characters? The Black Swans. 
Yeah, yeah, like those, like, and then it's like, well, what are you gonna do with them? I don't know. It was a cool idea, but I don't really yeah. have an end. Well, the Rogue Planet, which just like came out of nowhere. That's not yeah. it, because when Hickman was doing East vs. West, you thought the same thing, because there's this one group that was led by like a ninja, not a ninja. Um, yeah, I thought uh, I, I have a, like a Shogun type female or whatever who had. Uh, she had. How uh, long ago did East vs. West finish? I still haven't finished reading it, dude. Because it's forever. Like that's the thing. No, but then he I dropped. Haven't. He drops it. Well, yeah, it takes forever to read it. He it drops two arcs, and yeah. you're like, "What did he do with that character?" He like didn't do anything with it, but then she plays like a huge role later on. He just wanted you to forget about that character, and that's like part of his writing. It's he wants you to yeah. forget about it, and then he's gonna bring him into be something bigger. Is it, or is he just George R. R. Martin who isn't as old and unhealthy? No, when you when you see no, it, Hickman, you're like, Hickman, Hickman knows what he's doing. With yeah, that. he knows what he's doing. Generally he knows speaking. what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't agree with this statement at all. Hope is not the same as uh, Rachel Summers, and Layla isn't the same like, as any. Yeah, like Gene is, Gene is like a Girl Scout, like goody two shoes. Whereas Hope is like a badass who will like take the cigar out of your hand and smoke it and then flick it back at you. Like yeah. raised by Cable. Like she's she female was, Cable. She's female Cable. Yeah, yeah. She's female. I don't like any of you. This is stupid, but I have to save the world because you all are morons. But yeah. Jean Grey's like, why can't the sun just shine? I just want it to be sunny outside. And Rachel Summers was a hound. Like, I know she, you're a big Rachel Summers fan down here. I'm yeah, a yeah. huge Rachel Summers. Yeah, Rachel Summers fan. She was. Eh, she's you right. like I always like all. You of like her with Betsy? I I think it can be good because I like Betsy. Like they're two of yeah. my like when you're talking female characters, just like not all of their stuff. Like the majority of their stuff is written well. Like they have stuff with Summers, even like all the the hunting stuff is all good. I've always seen her like when you when you get her outside of having to deal with her relatives and put her into other elements, she works well. She's also probably one of the tougher characters that showed up as a female when it came yeah, out. Anyways, so. Goldberg is the world's greatest then... wrestler. Yes, <laughs> yes. Just ask uh, DDP. Uh, but. Then you see, then when you see, so, and I like Hope too, by the way. I really think they dropped the ball with her. Like, I think sh they should have continued going with her. Even Generation mm -hmm. Hope, where they once again introduce new characters to tell a storyline of the same old storyline that they ever tell, more serious notes to stuff going hey, on. We're going to find new mutants. These are new, well, I forget what the hell they call them. Lights. Were they lights or something? Yeah. Female survivors of the world? Saviors of the, Saviors world. Of the world. I'm trying to read. Another writer takes the over, then they fizzle out. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's what they do with all the characters. Like, yeah, when they're the creator moves on and no one else has a that wasn't character. Rachel. That wasn't Rachel Summers. Rachel Summers was like, she was the Vulcan. She was, she yeah, was she the was Vulcan, Vulcan, not turning to the bad guy. She was just like, like instead of being the lost summer brother in space, that was a douchebag that like tried to take over the whole universe. She was the one that was like, oh wait a minute, I should not be a douchebag and help people out, right? Like, yeah. I think that's kind of different. I don't know. I don't think that's that the ongoing cool. comic. It's uh, yeah. A writer comes on, they have a story to tell, they have an end, but then the next guy's got to figure out now what do I do? Yeah, I mean, I think they should get rid of comic book time. They should start letting the characters age. Yeah, fair, fair. That way you could they they age out, right? Or you could yeah, just well, you could finally get new stories like like Ultimate Spider Man. Everyone's loving it because it's like, oh my god, Peter is a dad. How did no one think of that? He has such natural dad energy. Yeah, because he's never been allowed to be a dad because he's. What does that be, mean? Like he's natural dad energy. Okay, all like, right, go ahead. He, he makes dad jokes all the time. Yeah, like, like, like his whole vibe is very like. Like dad, like dad jokes, that kind of thing. He he fits it perfectly, but he's never been allowed to be that in the comics because the closest they ever got, she had to have a miscarriage. Like right. the character's yeah. not allowed. Well, it's kind of like when they made him a teacher for a stretch too. I I, I yeah. get what you're saying. It's but here's but but here's a point going. The... Here's a point going back to Rachel and something I was going to say about Gambit earlier too. Like you know when he's witness, like we the biggest failure for some of these two is like we are starting to get the witness storyline. And what happened? Do we ever figure out that? No, never. And that was yeah. pretty good. We were getting the Hound and, and the Apocalypse stuff. And like AOA was really good. Uh, the first one. I'm not, the rest of shit I don't acknowledge was very yeah. good. 
Yeah, but they should have done Age a, of Apocalypse was the shit. Not, but yeah. they should have done a follow up where you bring Rachel Summers. It, like if you're gonna do it right, you do that. You don't try to fucking retell, reimagine, as people say, like the originals. Like that just didn't work. Just tell more of that error, and that way too, instead of aging out characters, you could have Rachel Summers should very rarely ever come into the regular six one six. They Agreed. should put her. Into, they should put her into where she's best. And as much as people like Psylocke, unless she's going to come in to be on X Force, they should really push her back and have her as one of those people who do have, who does have to travel to like the mode. Like I don't know if people know this, but you know why she looks the way she does, and she doesn't look like uh, some English chick, a little British, a little British yeah. chap. Yeah, little Mojo. British. Like that's why, and that has, it worked well. And then they stopped. Like there's, she's never gone back and had any anything to do with it at all. I think maybe once for one like take off. Yeah, they're they're obsessed with that. Like they're bringing Not Spider you. Gwen into the main 616 mm -hmm. universe. Why? Because there weren't enough spider people there already. Right. Yeah, like, because, well, Miles is here too. Might as well bring everybody. It turns into that action book where you have Lois Lane going by for fucking 20 pages saying hi to every yeah, how many super characters are there? Right. I think that's more of the problem than anything else. They, like, we had Connor. They had the twins. They had the, the Chinese Superman. And then she kept on running. And there's Steel. And then there's Steel's daughter. And then you got a lot of... Lot of yeah. Way too many characters. Mm -hmm. The problem isn't so much having all those characters. The problem is you have to see all those characters all the time. Like you said, like if we just focus on certain ones and get a story about them, and then down the road you can bring some character that you forgot about. So let us forget about some characters so they can come mm -hmm. back later and give us something. We don't have to see, like, that Lois Lane going through and looking at 50, like, we don't need to see all 50 super characters in one book. Let's just focus on a couple of them and tell a story. I think that's where their biggest fault gets in. I mean, because when you look at Dark Justice League, which I, I know I like more than more people do, but, like, you saw them kind of switch up and bring back characters that maybe were off for a while. Um and they, once again, they do that with the X-Men books every once in a while. X-Men's biggest problem is they sometimes think if a character is popular and another character is popular, we need to team them up and put them on a team, which is not, title. yeah, which is not, no, on a team, which is like, like, remember there was the, X, what's your best X-Force, Jack? Um, I mean... I loved the like when they did the full Black Ops concept during. Yeah, when you're Renegade. doing war, you're doing uh, you're doing uh, Warpath, you're doing Archangel, you're doing Cable, you're doing yeah. who else is on that team? Uh, it's no, Wolverine, 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 X23 and Wolverine. Um, well, Wolverine sometimes then X23, then they put both on. Yeah, yeah but yeah. like the core of those, like that is one of the best, right? And what are you reading an Archangel book? Like at the time too, you're not reading War. Who the you're doing Warpath? Get the fuck out of here. Nobody gave a shit about that character, right? You're not doing, like, okay, maybe X-23, but she wasn't hitting like she is now. Like, she just wasn't. And and she's just not. Psylocke they can't, hold, they a they Psylocke can't hold a title by himself. So what I'm saying is, like, you had a bunch of Cable, and Cable had a title to himself. Actually, that was the biggest mess up, because they took Cable off of the Hope stuff to do that X for the X-Force thing. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like you had one guy who had a successful role with cable and you're like, okay, cool. We're going to put him on a team with all these characters that right now you cannot sell. And it worked, but then they started putting Wolverine on, the, you know, then they started mashing more people on there going like, Oh, well this person has a title that's dying out. Let's put him on there. Even though he's really popular. It's just like, it doesn't fit well in the team. They did the same thing. Once again, with X factor, they did the same thing with new mutants. They've done so many. That's like, damn bro. Like just, Get, you're saying they, that you hate that they have all these like random ass characters, and that's actually the best part about X Men is the random read, ass characters. Do you ever read the Ecstatics X Force run? Yes, yes, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. good because it's it's, just, <laughs> it's off the walls, insane pop yeah. art. Like it's great. Did you did you read the second one? I I didn't read Ecstatics yet. It's on my list. I've read a couple of them. I'm not. It's not as good. It's as not as good thing. as the yeah. one with the X Force. What was it's that Mulligan? Same, same kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mulligan and and Al and the Alrids. Yeah, which is a crazy thing. So like those type of things, they're great. But like you're, well, I mean, when you get into comic book time, and again, we tell them the same stories, and characters never age. And Peter Parker is well now he's old enough to be a dad, but then he's not old enough to be a dad. It's like how old is Cyclops? 
Nobody likes Cyclops. Right now. Though. Like, how, what would you say? Like, who should be playing Cyclops right Cyclops now? Cyclops is in the, like, like 30, 35. Nobody. They should kill him. But he's got, a, like, a 55-year-old kid from the future. Yeah, well, that's that's the funniest thing about comics is they have kids, but because there's comic book time, they can never age. They have to come up with all these. They're not aged. So he's got that ways to age them up. Like they but just even, did that with Spider Woman's kid. They just turned into like a, a Hydra like snake villain because they they can't let him just stay a kid forever. But here, but here's the here's the problem with Cyclops got and Cap raising Zola's kid because well, we'll put him in the <laughs> you know, yeah, time and, uh, uh, But but uh, here's a couple things too, like Cyclops when they've actually taken him, like oh yeah, everybody loved him on the original X Men comic book series. See, he can lead a team, right? But his best arcs were not leading a team because him as Charles Xavier was stupid. But when he him and uh, what's her name had to go raise. Nate in the future, that was actually pretty good. When he has to go to space because his his brother's killing people, whatever, and he's a minor character, it was actually pretty good. But like they don't do that. They're like, well, people love him because he's an original X Men. Like, I'm sorry, original X Men, which I, it was a bad book. It got canceled for a reason. Yeah, I mean, I'm just they're they're like I'm not down. Like, uh, God bless. Ice Man or whatever he's called now, Super Ice Guy or whatever the fuck they did to him, but like Super Ice Guy. Well, was he now? Does he, he's like they? He's like Omega level thing. Yeah, now, he's got yeah, now super... he can like make ice clones of himself. Yeah, and, like, like whatever the shit that is. Like who cares? Beast. Beast isn't even the best. Be Beast isn't even the third best version of Beast. He's not even the third best version of Beast. But they the don't like Dark Beast. Dark Beast. You're all right. Dark Beast, but they don't even let you do Dark Beast anymore. Instead, well, they, they give did. you well, they did Other Beast. Yeah. It was like a knockoff of Dark Beast. Yeah. So you have to have yeah, Beast. It's, it's, beast. it's Who Beast. went kind of the wrong way, but he's not Dark Beast. He's not Primal. Is he Primal Beast? They call him Primal Beast now or whatever. Stupid. No, they just kind of call him Beast. No, they're, I think it's Primal Beast. Isn't primal it? Beast? Yeah. I can't mm. remember. It's stupid. Whatever it is, it's stupid. Like it they should matter. just, but they should just let these characters, as you say, like not even just age out, but if you find one where the gimmick's starting to work, just like wrestling, if the Rock isn't doing good as like a heel, turn him to a good guy. If he is good as a heel, turn him into a heel. Let yeah. him go. Let him run with that. Don't stop that flow. Uh, bring back Dark Beast, because I doubt anybody gives two shits about Hank McCoy Beast. Like, he's just not, it's you, not you there. You just want like weird-ass Sugar Man and things like that. I love that Sugar Man. Oh, yes, I think Sugar Man. So I, like Sugar, <laughs> I think Sugar Man's <laughs> fucking hilarious. I, think, down there? I like, like Sugar Man's hilarious. Bring back Sugar Man, the long tug. Yeah, bring it all back. No, but like, I, I that's where I'm saying, like, when you're like, oh, X Men, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. I don't want to see fucking Marvel Girl. I don't want another Phoenix, Jean Grey Phoenix story. I don't want it anymore. Like, we've had 20 of them. Give us the other stuff, the weird ass, the, the people where you're like, they create a new character all the time. That's the stuff that always fucking hits with X Men. Well, the majority of them that I know, anyway. So, all right, boys, um, I got to get up yeah. early tomorrow. So, it was good Fair. talking to you. All. No, it was great talking to you. Thanks for coming again. Yeah, no, it yeah. was fun. I think we're about done, too. Yeah, yeah Storm was yeah, fucking yeah. dope. Yeah, but I liked all it. Right, Jack, hey, real quickly, Jack, did you like that thing where they took the, the 10 year, 100 year, 10 year, what was it, 10 year, 100 year, 1000 year storyline? Where they did oh, it, where uh, it was Faust. It was sinister. I loved it. Yeah, I thought it was that. That was probably the greatest X Men thing that they had come out in a while. I thought. Yeah, it was. It was, it was Age of Apocalypse, but like compressed. It was too fast. Stuff. That's my problem with it. It was. Just, oh no, I thought it was perfect. Crazy idea. Perfect. Let's have Juggernaut be a bullet and kill a fucking lesbian. Wild shit, dude. That's so cool. Crazy ass <laughs> ideas and throw shit in there. Yeah, that's cool. Shit. Have a great one, guys. All right, Jack. All right, Jack. Yeah, but I think that's where that's where the like when you see our fandom for that, Dove, that's where it comes into it. Is like I agree, I'll agree with you to a point that some of the X Men shit is it can, shit. X Men can be, but it might not be the thing you if think you're about. not really into the history. Like you can feel left out, maybe, but I don't even think it's that. I think I think probably Dove thinks of X Men as the original characters, and most of us who are X Men fans think, yeah, the original characters are overplayed and lame at this point you know what i mean they're well, not, they keep giving us those same ones but they yeah they do that's what sucks they like they start to give us something new 
what you were saying originally was like, well, stop giving us new characters because you just don't. Well, yeah, but they give us new characters. We get excited and then they come back and give us the the OGs and like. I well, part see... of it is that the, the, it's not new characters that I don't like. It's like they just keep making up so many. So it's like the strength in numbers thing where you have so that you can just have if you don't have to have Marvel Comics anymore. You just have X-Men. And it could be every power, superpower is covered. They, they don't respect Everything. the leader, right, Jay? Go ahead. He's not even the leader. <laughs> yeah, and it, you don't even have to have Marvel because, like, you got all the powers are covered with just the X Men. Well, yeah, every superhero I... power is covered with X Men because they made so many characters. Who, was it who sent me the X Men? I, I... Somebody sent me some X Men thing related on, uh, I think, IG or they're like, oh, the this the, the Sentinels show up and ruin Scott Summers' day. Uh, <laughs> Like things that happen all the time in the X Men, I can't remember who the fuck sent it. In like the original X Men, <laughs> sure. Yeah, and it probably. was like, oh, Storm doubts sure, herself as a leader. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. there, there, there's that story, and then maybe, it's like, oh, yeah, wait, oh, the uh, this so and so shows up to ruin Scott Summers' day, <laughs> and maybe so with some of that. But like, I like, I'm not when I say I like the X Men so much that I'm quote unquote a Marvel fan. Like but that's Sarah. like saying because I like is Sarah. But that's it's. Oh, where's he now? I don't know. Probably still. No, I'm just him. wondering who's if they if probably if sure. sent me yeah. the thing I'm thinking. Yeah, about. probably him. Yeah, probably him. But here, but here's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not a DC fan because I only like Justice League, Constantine, Swamp. You know what I mean? Uh, and and Creeper. But I am like that's how I am with Marvel. I like those things. So yeah, I buy and support DC and those products. With Marvel, I don't like Spider Man. I don't like any version of Spider Man. See, I, I like Spider Man. Spider -Man. But I'm, yeah. I don't like I don't like my Miles Morales is boring. Spider Man's boring as shit. Like I don't I'm like a Peter that. Parker fan. But like X Men on Peter Parker. When we're, we're I, this close to calling him Peter Parker, we're gonna name him Peter Parker and just call him Parker by his middle name. Because but then I said, you know what? But if his actual first name is Peter, yeah, people in school are gonna call him Peter, and then we're getting a situation like when I was a kid, and there's Big Peter and Little Peter, and I don't want to do that because my uncle. That's I just. So See, I don't agree with it. I think you could just like those sections. I think you could just like you could just get into the X Men lane. Like when I think Marvel, I'm like cool X Men, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I also like, you know, I also like X Y and Z. But mainly, Unk. it's like, hey, what's up? Hey, Unk, how you doing? But yeah, I mean, like that's it. It's uh, it's almost it's almost time for what? It's almost time for Motor City. When I'm not doing it, and it's about a month away. Damn, little over five, five you know, I got coach. You know, I got coach a soccer game in the middle of Motor City again. Of course you do. Champions have to be champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. That, yeah, I'm. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that. I got a lot to do. Same here. But like, I think, I think what you said is correct. It doesn't like you're thinking it as the grand scheme of Marvel. I think like when you say uh, IDW, are you an IDW fan or are you a Turtles fan? I'm a Turtles fan. Right, I like IDW one in tens. Yeah, I do like one in tens for my. Idea. Okay, I get that, but like, what I'm saying is like you don't. <laughs> they're easy to qualify. They're easy to find. Like so, just, like you like a property at IDW, just like I like the X Men, but that doesn't mean I, I like have when GI Joe and Transformers were there. But now they're not. Now I like that they're. At Skybound. Uh, I don't like when GI Joe and Transformers were there. I like them at Skybound way better than there. So, fair, but my point, enough. but but my point is like. I like those things. I don't like Spider-Man. Venom never. I'm like, okay, cool, yeah, whatever. Send my my nuts. Like, I'll read one like crossover or something every once in a while. But no, I think like you have your own lane. Leaving X-Men in their own lane is a, is a perfectly acceptable thing. And you're still, I guess, a Marvel fan. But like, same thing with the what's happening with Blood Hunt. If it turns yep. out that yeah, I know. I had to grow up here. like that anyway. Uh, but if you do that, you do that. What do you say, Mark? You're the type of guy that tell Wolverine to lead, and then I actually not a huge Wolverine fan. I, but I don't think you have like that's what's cool about X Men. There's so many options. You don't have to be a Wolverine fan. You can mm. like Gambit. You can like a Maddox. You can like you know other character. Pit the Troll. I don't want to say Pit the Troll. I just for some reason got Pit the Troll in the mind for some reason. I don't uh, remember GI Joe trouser snake video, Terry. Don't check your email right now. It's don't. probably a virus. Don't play it. But yeah, I mean, I don't think you have to like... That's more of an SNS thing. <laughs> yeah, I know people like... I know there's a lot of people who are loud about it, but yeah, I mean, like... I'm not buying the Wolverine... Wolverine and X-Men was a different thing. It was very good on that series, but I'm not... The regular Wolverine series, I'm not reading that. 
I didn't think Wolverine was a great ad. You're, you're not X-Men. reading uh, the Saber Tooth War? No, not reading that shit. Yeah, it's care. just dragged out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I so, mean, it's weekly, too, right? Uh, well, it was weekly, but it does seem faster than monthly. It seems faster. Yeah, it's, it seems it's, faster. It's, it's probably bi monthly because I feel like they keep throwing these shits. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what part are we on? Part six? Part of watching again. Jesus. Yeah. That's the episode. We're not to issue 50 yet. I do wish they'd get back. I mean, I hope, I guess maybe part of my hope for Blood Hunt 2 is that they get back. It works so well because if they, it does, maybe the editors will figure out that that format of giving us like a six to eight main storyline that you, that is disconnected from the subset. I don't think you need that much. Like that, that should be just saying, Pete, 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 whatever I'm saying, whatever the storyline takes up, two books. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm, I know. Books. Well, I'm saying Blood Hunt in particular, it. I think it's four. Okay, whatever. It's funny. Yeah, that's fine. That you could, you could get through it if you read the minis. It adds on. If you don't read them, you're good. Yeah. If it's you, if it's all encompassing all of the Marvel universe, changing. All right, we'll go to eight. But otherwise, just stick things like four or five, man. Like Siege. Like did you like imagine they dragged out Siege? Siege wasn't that bad because they didn't drag it out past four. Uh, you don't. You, I, but I'm talking even pre 2010. Wolverine was not, I, it's not my Wolverine. I mean, I just don't have a Wolverine. I'm indifferent to the, and, and like the storyline of him with Jean Grey is just the dumbest thing. Can we like stop? I thought your Wolverine was Gabby. I like Gabby. I do like Gabby. <laughs> I like Gabby. <laughs> what can I say? Like you got me. I do. Because I think it's hilarious. I, I like the clone of the clone. Yeah. yeah, I think Gabby's hilarious. I right, think two, two 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 fucking hilarious. You're right. I do. <laughs> I think it's cool that she gives the middle figure all the time with her claw, like <laughs> like a real one. Like it's funny, dude. I think that's it. Like I'm okay with that. Honey Badger is it, man. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. So I don't mind if Gabby shows up on a team, but she, she did on the next one. Sleepwalker. Holy shit! I can't be down with Sleepwalker, bro. I can't. Yeah, These guys are not. Sleepwalker. Uh, Sleepwalk's not for me. I would really like. I think it was Toy Hunter said that they have it. Was it him or was it Terry Floyd who said they'd never done cloak and dagger properly? Uh, I can't think of a cloak and dagger that I've actually liked. You get out of here. <laughs> not a nubs fan. No, cloak and dagger, where they were originally doing like their original story of the drug, the homeless. Yeah, I like all that stuff. But then they like, they try to make them lovable. And it didn't work out. Like they should they still even make had a TV make... show. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Freeform. Yeah. Still. But maybe they should they should I think with them, they should probably go back and make them maybe like if you're going to not age people, why not give them make them in their you know teenager to 20 and still fucking around and finding out? You know what I mean? Doing good things, sure, but like their moral compass isn't always the best. Yeah, they'll steal from people, you know, like. But they still want to. Well, there, there lies the trouble when you do not age the characters because, all right, Cloak and Dagger have been around for how long? Oh my and then God, you got to mix heavy. them in with characters like the Runaways and the, you know what I mean, the Young Avengers. <laughs> like, you can't keep bringing in new characters that are all the same age because then. Well, well yeah, but you, they you, got the Ro- you got the Robin right. problem is the problem you have. Right. But what they should have, what they should have done, what they should have done was kept around the new warriors. And then that way you could get like, it could be like. <sighs> We talked about earlier. Them up, graduate them up. Like yeah, but we talked like, about earlier when they did that. M, when we did that, they did that M title where it was like with a Bishop being the investigator. And going, like you could have District easily M. worked District M. You could easily work all those characters into a District M storyline. You could have had them be, you know, uh, Cloak and Dagger could have been the Punisher style. Oh, I'm not calling him fucking Punisher. Just calling him Punisher style where you're not even an anti-hero. You're kind of just like, you just have a different moral sense of things. And then you have the new warriors who are some street kids or Billy kids or whatever you want to call them. They get together and they want to be cool, goody two shoes, but they got a little bit of edge to them and you have them clash every once in a while. That would have been perfectly fine, but that's not what yeah. they did. With yeah. them, fortunately, um, follow way seeker. Uh, Definitely follow way. He likes the minion of the minion Wolverine. Yeah, I mean, whatever, dude. Like I'm not really, yeah. Yeah, remember they yeah. had the little the little dudes, the little Wolverines. Yeah, baby Wolverine. They had that Mojo. That's part of Mojo World. 
he turned all the X Men into babies. No, no, I'm not talking. But remember, there were all like there was like a bunch of them. Or no, there were a oh. bunch of night crawlers. That's what I'm thinking of. Those night crawlers. You're talking about Bamps. all the vamps. Yeah, the vamps. I actually like. Yeah, the, be- yeah, there was the little Wolverine who was part of the Exiles. Who was part of the Mojo Baby? Yeah, X-Men he was the, the little Mojo Wolverine. Was yeah. The, yeah. Which, by the way, joking around about X, like I think that I think that X Men has so many subcategories that no matter what your st- taste is, like that's the good thing about X Men. Like whatever your taste is, I found the Nightcrawler stuff entertaining. Yeah, I find the Mojo stuff. Entertaining. But then you realize of how much space this dumb shit is taking up in our brains. No, I don't care. I like it. Like it's relaxing. It's fun. Like because it doesn't matter. Like the like dumb shit with get like people. Like you talk it about bothers Wolverine. Me sometimes I watch Jeopardy. I'm like, I don't know the answer to that, but I can tell you that there was a little oh, mini Wolverine who was running around with the exiles who came for the Mojo first. Like just I'll wait for that Jeopardy question. But when but you no, talk, I don't to... know who the 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 last Duke of Winchester. Mr. T on the T force. No, you know... Yeah, but what I'm saying is like when you dub, like when you get some people that do get like Wolverine, this is not my like kind of what Toy Hunter said. I know you're not saying it like this, Toy Hunter. I'm taking it out of context. That's not my Wolverine. Wolverine, da 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 da. Yeah, that's not like that's I I know those type of X Men fan, but that's not the majority of the X Men fan. The majority of the X Men fan like niche on to something unique and figure out what they like in there. And I think that's the good part of it. And I can understand how if you're like, oh, I gotta stick to the original six and won't fly. fuck those, set them all on fire. Um, yeah, he's the most underrated top three. I, don't I like know. Nightcrawler. I'm a, I'm a I Nightcrawler do too. too. I like dude the whole the whole thing where it was a religious thing where he was fighting back and forth with it, like being the devil, but also his religious back. I thought that was good when he was a yeah, pirate. Yeah, that, that actually, I'm not as much of a fan of. I don't need priest Nightcrawler. Just give me Nightcrawler. I didn't mind that. I like, I like that. pirate I also, Nightcrawler. I also like pirate Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. Like I like both of those <laughs> Nightcrawlers. Give me my swashbuckling Nightcrawler. I like Guido the Doorman, and I like Strong Guy Guido. Like you know, I like them both. <laughs> I thought they were great. So, uh, well, you say that about Pun- yeah, not my Punisher. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I I, I mean, I get it. It's like. Oh my yeah. God, Frank Miller Wolvie! Hey, oh, Frank Miller said. Wolvie is like Shogun Wolvie. He's like <laughs> he's engine. Yeah, except for the oh, new yeah. Frank Miller cover Wolvie. If you saw oh, that, we don't one. have to talk about the art. But I'm just saying, you read the storyline. <laughs> Frank like Castle Punisher period. Yeah, I actually like. You know what I do like in 2000, 2099, I actually liked the X Men run in there. I liked. Uh, I thought yeah, Doom was done pretty well. Weird for like in that run of X Men. Yeah, metalhead oh. and speaking about another. Well, they also had a hooker in that one too. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah the the chick that what was her name? She was like she had remember. white hair. I didn't like that run. So she I wore the purple the outfit. Well, oh, well, it was like Badlands, like because they were in the Badlands. Remember, Bloodhawk came through and like was killing. Eh, whatever. I just remembered like the long haired Colossus dude. Yeah, and that's not the strongest character out of that. No, that. Uh, but they had uh, in 2099. I thought Doom was good. I really liked the Punisher run 2099. I thought that was pretty good. Um, Rav, yeah, Ravage, of course. I always keep picking Ravage 2099 is the only book that nobody ever picks up. So I still pick oh, yeah, up Ravage all the time. Ravage. All the time. Who I do. Cares I cares about? Well, let's get the new character from 20. Who nobody cares about the original 2099 character. The, the Wasn't that all original Stan Lee's last creation or something like that? Was it? Ravage. He made a whole Marvel universe, I think. Oh, yeah, Marvel. he made a whole Maybe. universe after that. Like they let him do it like a bunch of years later. No, I mean Ravage was hilarious. He was the hilarious character. Yeah. The new, the new Punisher guy. I don't know who the new Punisher guy is. I could care less. I'm not reading the new Punisher. That's that's just trash. Mm-hmm. I, I'm no interest in that. Agreed. That's what you're talking about, Ludo. I don't know the new Punisher's name. The blonde haired guy. Ugh. Oh, dude, we should just start reviewing 2099. Hulk 2099. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go back and do it? We'll do it another time because next week we got turtles. We got to do turtles next week. We can't do turtles next week. Why not? We have to get back to our portfolio at one point. Eh, we can get back. But issue 150 of turtles, the final issue comes out next week which is why it felt like a good time for us to do the turtles that spider noise sells buyer than new to them i think he means i bet spider what is he now, man, spider boy, now. Spider boy oh boy 
sells better than the new 2099 books, which it's possible because the new 2099 books are doing well. The current Spider Man one is just, well, we'll pick up uh, Miguel being, you know, Venom. Yeah, which is stupid. It's like, why are you picking up that story now? Yeah, that's stupid. You kind of missed the window to tell it. Noir? You like noir? Is that Brian? You saying you like the noir stuff? The noir stuff was okay. Not my. I favorite, like that but... time period because I'm I'm a sucker for that. Uh, you know, hard boiled detective time frame. So I will admit I'm down for that. But at the same time, Nick Cage kind of put a little bit of a sour you taste. Like, in my mouth. I have never got into. It. I don't. Hey, listen, Toy Hunter. You want to come on and explain it to us? I, I'm all for it because I never understand Power Rangers, but it's just out of my realm. Yeah, Power Rangers was my little brother's thing. I I just remember hunting. Yeah, the my, my youngest one. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, this is Voltron. Anymore. Why am I running out to buy Voltron? But he's saying that the books are pretty good. But bro, see, like this is what I'm saying. Like a lot of times, what gets caught up with Marvel fans is they plant their flag in something, and then instead of saying like this is why I like this, they try to knock down the other flag. That is a big problem with Marvel. Like me saying that I don't read Spider Man, I understand there's a huge fan base for. I'm not knocking the fan base for Spider Man, but if you say that in a comic book shop, holy fuck, man! Like, I, I didn't say I didn't say like you're a piece of shit for liking it. I didn't say that. I, I keep hearing. I haven't. I got to catch up. I, there's only been like four issues, so I got to read this Spider yes. Boy stuff because I just didn't like the idea of the character. So I've been against him since the get go. Um, I'll freely admit that. I think Spider-Man in general is a lot like Batman. I think no. there's a lot of similarity between the two. They're I... not similar at all. How did how did Batman become a hero? Um, his parents are he has a ton of money, and he he doesn't rich. have any money at the time. He's rich. His parents are did rich. I, did ask about all his that. Parents. How did he become a superhero? What what was the catalyst to him becoming a superhero? I mean, his parents, his parents died. died, right? Yeah. 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 What was the cat was when Spider Man's parents well, died? He didn't become a superhero. What, he didn't become a superhero when his parents was, died. Yeah, it's not the same. Traumatic thing. force of somebody being killed in an accident like that, a family member. Generalizing, no, but he did have his parents die. That didn't turn into a superhero. Oh my god, he, he got bit by a spider. He got and got the person and who the person who raised but the person the person who yeah. raised him he wasn't a superhero at that point the person who raised him I know. passed away and that turned him into the superhero he is today correct when the person who raised Bruce died what did he One become of the a people superhero who raised him, but he still had a parent left or and so uh, did Batman in Pennyweather and so did Batman in Pennyweather who the fuck is Pennyweather or Penny whatever his name is the Butler dude. <laughs> Pennywise, Penny Weather, Penny Nuts. <laughs> yeah, oh, Penny why Nuts. did Superman become a superhero? Butler. I mean, why did Superman become You're a superhero? Giving me the Butler, who they have retconned now in the last like decade. I don't care about the retcon. They, I don't yes, care about the... they've made him a father figure. But you know what? He's, He's always been a father, father figure for forty plus years of Batman. He was the goddamn Butler. Yeah. Uh, Am I, I wrong? Like he was just the Butler. He wasn't. Oh, I raised Bruce like. He was like son to me. No, that's what no, I'm saying. Like they all no. Edition. That's what I'm saying. All why did Luke Skywalker become a Jedi? Not being Butler. Well, his parents didn't die. His parents oh, his dad was alive. No, oh. his dad was fucking Darth Vader. I don't know. All the fuck are you talking about? Dad. Same thing. It's not the same thing. His dad's alive. Same thing. His mom no, died. His fucking dad's alive. Spider Man. His, his aunt's his... alive. Oh, actually, you're his right. No, alive. hey. No, you're right. You're Luke is. You're and he right. had no money. And Baru and them died too. You, you're right. You you got you focus on small things. Peter you're Parker. right. He Way seeker. No I, hey, Wayseeker. I'm agreeing. You're agreeing with my point that they're not that different. They're not that different. They're all the same. So they're not all the same. Okay, whatever. That's the difference. I mean, Peter Parker. The reason why people like Spider Man is because he was relatable. Because he wasn't a millionaire billionaire. Who had everything he needed yeah. taken care of? Hey, he you're to right. hide who Luke he was the same. from his aunt. Like, oh, they died. So you're right. The people that raised <laughs> him died, and then he had another father, just like Batman. Just like, well, he had Spider Man, another mother. Yeah, Obi Wan exactly. wasn't his butler. <laughs> we no, no, no he's still the dad. He's still the dad. I'm not. You're. You're. It's the, the same character trope. The weird old it, dude just watching him. 
It's just, so is so is the butler. It's the same character. No, it's not the same thing. Cause the butler's getting paid to do that job. I did say That's same thing. Creeper I said same old character. guy hanging out. You mean old Ben? <laughs> that her, old hermit lives out in the goddamn mm. out in the desert, feeding his camel thing with stolen space whale meat. I just hear you saying same person. That's all They're I hear you saying. Person. Same character. <laughs> Same character. That's all I hear you saying. Oh, wait, it's somebody protecting the young person till they can grow up to be old enough. Same person. All right. Oh, that was fun. I did. It was fun. There's a bullshit about this stuff, but not same person. Spoiler. See, exactly what I said. These are the haters. Pete is the hater. Pete is the hater in the comic book shop when you're like, just not a big fan because I find them similar. Fuck you, a butler and a fucking uh, aunt are not the same person. Oh, I, I agree they're not the same person. I'm telling, like, the, the character type is the same. But they're not That's the same. It. Yes, I agree. No, I agree. but what I'm saying is they weren't. No, they wrote the same. Butler character to be a father figure within the last decade or two, but for 40 or 50 years, he was just a goddamn butler. No. Uh, good luck with that. You're, uh, anyway. you're telling me in Detective 31 he was going on about how Alfred raised him? No, he was just a goddamn guy who answered the door. No, but by uh, 89, when Alfred is going down there... I'm going, sorry, 1989 is how far from no, 1939? 80, Batman 89. 15 years Batman, later? Batman, you bro, I didn't say 1980. Excuse me, maybe your headphones aren't working. I didn't say 1989. <laughs> I said Batman 89. Which was done in what? 52? 1952? When he starts coming to the door and going, hey, Bruce, da da da, and giving advice. Then, yeah, you could see it transforming over to being more of a, he hey, would... I'm still looking after you. They didn't go as far as now he knows karate moves. I get that. He's not a uh, MI6 member that, or MI6. MI, what's the, what's the thing in, what's the, that what's was the just a response to, the, the Avengers butler, Tony's butler. What the hell's his name? Jarvis. Jarvis. Jarvis, exactly. Yeah, Tony's. Didn't Tony's dad die too? Is that what kind of turned? Uh, he, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sock the Hedgehog? I know what they told I think Sock the Hedgehog got captured. Who's Barney? The dinosaur? No, I, I, no, yeah, he was captured. Wasn't Sonic, Sonic was like captured from his pop thing and by Robotnik and then something, wasn't he? I can't remember. Uh, no, not overall trauma. I'm saying the trauma of like a parent dying that they're, they're all similar in that case. Thank you, Bri, for that. I appreciate the help. Um, yeah, Sonic's parents. Did he die or did he get taken away and put into a different realm? I can't remember. Uh, oh. There you go. Kylo Ren never had trauma until he killed his dad. <laughs> That's the problem. Well, Good call, to be fair, he did wake up as a 14-year-old with his uncle standing over him with a big-ass laser sword. It looked like he was going to kill him. I think that would be pretty traumatic. Uh, you I, think it was that, I think I, technically it was that Han Solo was just like, yo, this baby sucks. I'm out of here. And every time he came home, he'd just be like, yo, dude, I cannot deal with this little shit kid took off all the time that's pretty let much it, let it be a jedi let it uncle luke take care of him yep yep uncle luke oh, the tick. there you go oh shit yeah oh, but the is... tick was just an uh, insane spoon yeah he escaped from an insane asylum i guess cyclops no well his parent is he thought his parents were dead but his dad was that's not true way he's way dead way way you know he's out in space being a course. space pirate but he didn't know that. He didn't know Corsair was out there. Yeah, but that's not real trauma. His dad's out there partying it up. No, but he didn't know that. He thought his parents were dead. I mean, he thought they got thrown out of an airplane with parachutes or some shit. Mm. And then they got separated because their chutes opened in different areas. Remember Dick, the, Dick, whatever Dick, the Dick, 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 Dick Ryder. Was. Dick Ryder didn't have trauma. Sam Alexander kind of did, I guess, but didn't really either. Uh, well, didn't Ryder have something with his brother? That was later. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. All uh, right. well, we, we can get into this another day. Let's let's we can think on this off air. Characters. Yeah, we gotta go. Topic and what flesh do you got it done? Out. Um, 
One, two, three, four. Twelve thirty four. Check out uh, our live shows on uh, Friday night. No, nope. Saturday oh, yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we do have one Friday. I'm sorry, Friday night. I think yeah. It's like the hot tent. We're not live. <laughs> Peter Quill's <laughs> mom died of cancer. In both versions. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, qualified on Friday night. SNS on Saturday night. Tales from the Dark Side uh, on Sunday night. And then uh, make sure you check out before the qualified on Friday is our uh, CBSI Hot 10 list uh, mm -hmm. to give you the latest and greatest best selling books uh, on the interwebs. Uh, oh, thank hey, you all for hanging out. I'll even yeah. try to give you guys a dollar meeting tomorrow if I can get it done because there's a couple Dang. of things we didn't cover of some real, real quick update. Uh, SNS has gone from the uh, seventh best show live show on Renovision to the fifth best live show on Renovision. So congratulations, guys. Really hard work paying off there. Yeah. Oh, well, wow. really fifth and a half. Fifth and a half, really. But we'll give them the bump up to fifth. You sure? I would say they're at least fourth. No, fifth best. Yes. Because we only have four. <laughs> I'm quite aware of how it. Pete? Fucking Pete. You don't get the fucking joke, Pete. I know. I get the joke. I was just still building off of the joke and confusing people. Um, thank you all for hanging out. Um, it's been fun talking about Blood Hunt and um, how the X-Men is just a fancy oh, orphanage. Bill's been hating the last and, hour of us just talking X-Men stuff. Oh, yeah. He hate, I just Marvel just in general. Orphanage. I don't hate Marvel. It's just the X-Men because it's just an orphanage and people hanging out there. I don't all know. Right, what we'll, we'll see you guys all later. Like... And uh, yeah, we'll be back next week. Maybe with turtles, maybe not turtles. I think I want to do turtles, but maybe we'll save it. Oh, I'm going to poop all over turtles. I think it's turtle time. Ninja. I like turtles. Ninja. Rap. <laughs> uh, if you check out the Harley Spotlight on Friday night uh, with the boys on the qualified. So um, that's what I just heard about. Didn't what is it? That. Really do a Harley Quinn spotlight. They're doing Harley. No singing. Oh, the, okay. the Joker trailer hit. They were like, are they gonna do? Are they gonna do Lady Gaga like, oh, is Joker. one of the Harleys? Please don't. I don't think they are. I don't think that's. What he said there's not gonna be singing. So, yeah, I think oh, they're just gonna do Gaga's Harley out. because of the trailer. Okay, good. That we love so much. It was all right, something. We'll, that. we'll see you all later. All right, peace. Bye.